That was the first thing I heard, and I thought it would be funny. We're no longer naming it relevant things because I never know what's going to be relevant. We're just naming it shit. We're just calling. We're just calling the 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 live stream things and see and uh, things that I think are funny. Are they relevant? No. Point of a podcast is not seeing the podcast bros. Well, so fun fact: the only podcast I listen to is all is uh. Well, there's your problem, thanks to Tex, um, which is a podcast with slides. I do. I've been listening to um, was it Behind the Bastards for a while? Hello, sir. Hello. What are we yelling about? Hi. Aloha. I was just talking about how I, the only podcast I listen to is the one with slides, and it's your fault. <laughs> oh, I need to put out the announcements. Yeah, let's put out the announcements. My kid mm -hmm. is excited because when she gets back, um, we'll have banked some episodes of Critical Role started a live play podcast and said they'd make it kid friendly. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, the new the Reslayer's Re take, isn't it? I've listened to the next generation. the first episode so far. Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, definitely do not put on the podcast that me and Noah listen to for your kids. Uh, yeah, no, that's a bad idea. You you do not want your kids to be hearing phrases like champagne cock. That's hardly the worst one. I finally got around. I'm listening to the LSD bonus because they have yet another bonus oh, no, missing somebody. The LSD bonus episode. Yeah, it's no, it's already bad. I'm really sad Alice wasn't it isn't in it because Alice would have yeah. some like really fucking primo ass shit to say. I think my favorite episodes... Alice November. November. I think my favorite, well, there's a problem. So those are probably the the two ones they had Milo on for, where they're just talking about insane Soviet shit. Those are fun. My favorite bonus episode is Art Nouveau, exclusively because of the Peacock Room. Art for art's sake, it drove three men insane and caused two divorces. Can I just point out that this is probably like the closest to seven we have all been online. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. I I will <laughs> say if I were in charge of naming, which I'm not because it's your stream. I, I mean, I'll, I take name. suggestions. Oh, um, it's strange times in Sandpoint. Boring. We're call we're sticking with swamp food. Swamp food. I'm with her. Yeah. Now I'm curious I mean, these, about these, what you're these, these are strange times in Sandpoint. They are. Right. It's also ghost busting time. What we do last time? We ran off a mob and uh, a peas ghost, right? So, yes. last session, Learn. you completed your guys' search of um, what the notes you found seemed to describe as the HF... What is it? Uh, HF... Doom. HMS Doom? Yes. HMF doom. Um, the 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 st strange fiery catacombs. Um, Her Majesty's returning, fuck. Upon returning back into town, you guys rested for the night, and eventually, you're um, invited invited to Sandpoint Cathedral for a day, where um, you uh, dealt with some uh, rabble rousing of um, one. Where is it? I I'm opening the NPC codex, so. Titus Andronicus. Is that, that, is that, that's like 50%, right? Uh, Scarnetti. One of the Scarnettis. Yeah, was the, Sorry, I just um, realized that I was muted because I'm slurping noodles. You're welcome. Where sure, sure. Is, where's my NPC codex? I don't know that answer. Yeah, what are you, what are you wanting from us here? It's a Scarnetti. What, you don't trust the Scarnettis? They seem pretty upstanding. Uh, remind, this dude was our, about to cause a fucking riot. Also, uh, remind us again what our standing ranking is with the Scarnettis. Oh, Not great. Um, uh, your reputation with the Scarnetti Consortium is minus 12. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um... It's not so bad. Not sure what it means, it but... <laughs> I'm cool. I mean, um, in, uh, to put it into perspective, how low can it go? 
Um, the highest right. for reputation Bendy. system is uh, hunted at uh, minus 30 to minus 50. Oh, that sounds like the lowest. Um, right yeah. now, uh, you guys are uh, hated. Ah. Uh, yeah, so like I said, and they don't like are, us. What are we, who are we good, who, who are we positive with? Currently, you are besties with the Sandpoint Cathedral. Mm. Okay. Um, you've earned some points with the Rune Watchers. And besties with the church, the, enemies with the mob. And you are currently in good standing with the townsfolk and the town watch. Which, I'll, honestly, if I'm going to be reputable with two kinds of people, would probably be the town watch and then the commoners. Mm. Um, the People's Republic of Sandpoint. No? <laughs> no, that's funny. Thank you. Sandpoint is, Sandpoint is currently working to build a rocket with an extremely acidic fuel. Oh, this guy. Uh, Charn Scarnetti. Oh, that that dude! Is that the mob? Yeah, I, right? I yeah. remember that dude. Yeah. The angry um, guy. He was, he was rebel-roused. Uh, you guys quickly persuaded the mob to abandon him, and he <laughs> shouted at, in your names... And uh, with a lot of vitriol, um, Jennifer's character, um, Billy, not Billy. Nanner. Well, I mean, Nanner's yes, here. yeah, well, Billy. well, the Billy sent Nanners to uh, keep an eye on them. Pro Did you ever give a duration for that? Probably uh, just like till they get home or whatever. Yeah, I think it was make sure he didn't cause more trouble tonight. Okay. Mm. Oh, wait. Find so... me at that time where you don't get scritches. <laughs> no, not the scritches. So, um, you sent your little uh, raccoon? Trash panda? Trash Looks panda. Looks like trash panda. Yeah, it is a trash panda. It absolutely um, is a trash panda. I found him in the dump. <laughs> I, I think it's funny how, like, when a mage gets their first familiar, they just kind of, like, walk into them and you're just their familiar now for the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, unless you're a witch, in which case it's like, hey, you want power? Kind of thing going I, on. I think Vanna's is, like, you find an abandoned raccoon kit in the dump and you take it and nurse it home, and it's just a raccoon for a long time that's your pet. And then, and then you get weird and the raccoon gets weird and you just I... get used to it. I will say the TikToks of like people who have adopted raccoons are incredibly cute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> yeah, but can their raccoons play the loop? No. He can't play the loop. He can't reach the frets and the yeah, strings at the same time. He plays the recorder. Also, because I'm sorry. I'm playing Owls of Alcazar, I can't just look, I just look at this guy and say, ah, yes, human Mugland. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Like, he can't deny. He looks kind of like a human version of Mugland. But, um, you then did the, um, aided, um, Hadrani and, uh, <coughs> Abstlar mm -hmm. in actually performing the call spirit ritual. Um, that was fun. And, uh, she, uh, you <laughs> were able to get across to her that you know, you are f willing to forgive her, but the town may not be ready. She reveals that there's seven more dooms for Sandpoint in its future, and that two things. It seems to be at the location known as the Pit, and that the one orchestrating it all seems to hearken on Red Wings. Was the whole proxy shit. I kind of remember using <clears throat> my religion skill to find out a likely candidate for the pit, but I can't remember what it was. Named. Yes, um, you guys do know, um, um, you guys do know that the pit is a uh, what it's exactly what it sounds like. It's some sort of ruins not far from uh, the location of Thistletop. That's right. Well, um, which is an important location in Rise of the Rune Lords. Yeah, I think I got some goblin friends live out that way. You always have some fucking goblin friends, Jennifer. Goblin the goblins... Friends. Goblins are just fucking everywhere in Verissia. There's... This is fair. It's better to be friends with them than not to be friends with them. 
<laughs> You're not friends with them, they set your shit on fire. And then we begin the next morning. I have a thing that I want to do today. Yes. I think that um, it might be worth going and finding where the Scarnettis hang out and initiating a bit of a conversation. Because the shit that went down last night, I don't think it can stand. So, um, can I get a... Actually, you just know they ha they have a, they have a building. Hold on, I'm uh, I'm activating Sandpoint because we're not in the cathedral anymore. Activate Sandpoint. <laughs> but uh, this is this is the map of uh, Sandpoint. Yeah, it's loading. It'll get in here. <laughs> I need to find my annotated map so I can, because uh, I don't memorize each of the locations. Why not? A lot of numbers. Hey, baby. I think my Maz is one of the places off Raven Street. Area 48. Raven Street looks fun. Oh, that's across the. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a walk. Yeah, I was just noting its existence. Oh, there it is. is it? Yeah, yeah there it's it is. way down. It's one of those mansions down in the south. Yes. Yeah, right yeah across the harbor. Um, you do know that the Sport. um, he likely resides um for most of the time in um. This is the uh, Scarnetti Manor. Billy, if you go down there, I'm going with you. You're gonna be far from the town proper. That's their turf. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind company for the walk. I, I Obviously, we all have to go with. Mm-hmm. So, um... Oh, um, Nanners does return to you uh, in the early hours of the morning. It looks like he went back to his house in the manor. Um, all right. Calls a riot, go home. Sleep the Sleep at the just. Well, if you want, if you want to curl up, buddy, you can ride on my shoulders, take a nap there. We we gotta. I think we're gonna walk back out there ourselves. Oh no, I was uh, I uh, took help myself to some of their trash. All right, anything good? There was some Ooh. weird pieces of parchment, but I wasn't able to make anything out of them. He he holds up like a piece of parchment. It seems like it's a generic header to uh, sending a letter to some organization. But uh, the rest of it seems to have been smudged out. So we can't even tell what the organization. organization. Um, you give me a society check. All of us can. Uh, yes, uh, society. Um, Vrissialor. Not to be trained. No, in that same. Yeah, there we go. Or, you know, bardic lore if you're just cheating. I have Thassilodian lore, and that's it. Right, I forgot Grelka became a huge nerd about Thassil ancient Thassilon. Overnight. Have a special interest. There's nothing wrong with that. It's the autism. Hey, somebody roll high. Oh, Scoville. So, Scoville, you're... You can't head make heads of tails of, like, what kind of organization they would be, you know, heading out to. But based on the header, it looks like this was a draft that was thrown away at some point. Um, but it seems to be to some organization they would want to reach out to. I don't know that we want to be too up, all up in their business anyway. I don't think we have anything to do with them. But, you know, you live in this town, you got to offer them respect when it's due. And I don't want last night to have... Have lasting Casting. impact for my brothers. My mod at my head. So if we're trying to calm things down. I think I'll just let you do the talking. Probably for the best. So you guys are heading uh, to Scarnetti Manor then? Yeah. 
Yeah, we so, don't let the Scarnettis think in... You trek across town. Um, the um, Abslar has been uh, kind enough to allow you to use the rooms in the church in the uh, interim. I thought we were staying with are... Billy's Ma. Or that. It was pretty late at night. We might have just crashed there for the night. Yeah, I, I think... That's true. Yeah. I don't wander into my ma. It's too late at night. She asks questions. <laughs> like, what are you doing? And what do you mean a ritual to, to placate a ghost of the woman who, like, who invaded and the place? And, and have you brought the orcs back again? <laughs> and uh, are, am I really cooking breakfast for all of you again? Or... or it's so like, why don't you talk to your brother anymore? I got oh. five brothers. They're all married. I think I got three nephews and nieces. I'm not entirely sure which brothers they go with. Uh, you guys know if you double click on any of the numbers on the map, it actually like brings up a blurb of what that place is. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh fun, fancy. Found that out. Wait, what yeah. numbers? The, the ones with like 48. Yeah, that is a good yeah. question. I don't see any numbers. <laughs> Neither do I. Numbers. I don't see numbers either. Maybe I have some privileges that it's told for some Kai Jitsu for when you want to wrestle big lizards. Uh, well, what? Uh, measuring distance now. No, measuring no, just control. like on the map, there's like numbers on particular buildings and shit. Yeah, no, my sh nope. mine doesn't yeah, have any numbers on anything. That's Hold on, I just has names. I just have names. Yeah, that is, okay, that's weird. Yeah, they're obvious. Like, too. if you're saying you're not seeing them, you're probably not seeing them. Because I, I can't imagine that you'd miss them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I believe you. I'm, I'm pulling up Noah's stream so I can see what Noah sees. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Noah sees oh, I clearly don't. <laughs> Share my fucking screen. Oh, no, you don't need to. I'm on my stream. Commercial. I'm sorry. A what commercial? <laughs> Uncrustables. Uncrustables. I've had Uncrustables like once in my life and they were what? okay. It, they're pretty good. Do you not know what Uncrustables are, Tex? Sponsored no. by Uncrustables. So Uncrustables are, you know how like little kids hate like the crust on their sandwich? So Smuckers came up with this idea. What if we made a crustless PB&J sandwich they're and then PB &J sealed it like a dumpling? Yes. <laughs> no, they're, 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 they're PB&J dumplings. They are essentially well, dumplings uh, made out of white bread, grape jelly, and peanut butter. Yeah, it's just bread. And, and they come in little packets. And you don't have them completely before you eat them. Good. They don't have it on their, their map. Some people sure. will freeze them and then eat them, and they're wrong. They that's about right. That. Yeah, that's are you rolling for? For how much psychic damage you just took from that description? <laughs> oh, <laughs> not too damage. So you arrive at the Scarnetti Manor. So no number fixing. I'm gonna do a quick like once over, know, tidy the hair, it. flip out the skirt. Maybe it's just the game's pulse. The best I could say is F5. No, the game's pulse to mine. I still see the numbers. Yeah, no, I just don't have them. I hover over them. I've never had them. The town, but if I double click on them, I get. See if the refreshing list. fixes it, because I, I I don't think I have any privileges that you guys don't. I don't think I've ever seen but, numbers, though. Yeah. I didn't see them last time or this time. I don't remember ever seeing the numbers, either. Are you the only one who sees the numbers, Josh, or does Jennifer seem to? I think Jennifer Everybody said. sees them except you numbers. and me, Noah. You got numbers? I got numbers. Tex, you got numbers? So it's... I got numbers. You so it's just me and Svi. Okay, cool. That's fun. Weird. Hell yeah. This is big and true. It hates our family. It's weird. Both it hates our family specifically. Place. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I still don't have numbers. Players. Um, yes, but how do you really tier, trust us? Is there a tier above that? No. Would die for <laughs> players. Parasocial players. In our That's a tier under trusted. I'm not yeah. seeing anything different. All of the permissions are copied. So... Foundry just hates us. That's cool. I'll just try refreshing if you haven't already. See if that makes sense. I already did. That's never made a difference. Yeah. I've never oh, seen well. the numbers. I didn't know that was a thing until right just now. now. We can yeah. publish it Anyway. Later. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So, you arrive at Scarnetti Manor. Um, do I actually have a... Do I have a description? Hold on. Probably. It's a manor. So a um, so you do see a it 
in modern days would probably be called like a McMansion, where it's like a display of, you know, affronting of wealth. Um, a tacky and, display of wealth. Yeah. yeah. Um, you do see that a good portion of the building is under reconstruction. Um, some uh, some few years ago, a uh, the Scarnetti Manor uh, suffered some uh, damage from a dragon that was uh, causing havoc in town, as well as a uh, tsunami caused by the raising of um, the Thessalonian island in the Thess in the uh, Gulf. Um. The the Scarnetti fellow we we talked to last night was that Mr. Titus or was that That's Charn? That's Charn. Uh, Titus is uh, Charn is charmless. All right. Huh. I'm very funny. You're hysterical. We'll see what we can insert, do. Insert Eddie's head. Insert Titus laugh here. Number solution is in Discord. Oh, is it? It is. It fucking is. Thanks, Josh. Yay! Oh, there it is. Sure, no problem. I knew it wasn't a me problem. Uh oh, so Sphi's colorblind. Uh oh, wait, so there's a book. The thing I'm <laughs> ah! Jesus Christ! Thank you for the subscription, Lord Terra oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that caused a goat scream directly into my ears. Why do you have a goat scream as your subscription noise? Because I forgot! I thought it was funny. Do you know how long it's been? Oh, they subscribe for Tex, apparently. They said, yo, what's up, Tex? So, uh... Yeah, I think they're in my one of my groups. Hey, do you guys want me to ruin uh, the goat scream meme? Mm. Yeah. Will it be loud that's, in the media? That's not, it's not actually the goat screaming. It's a generic oh, it's sound effect library. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Oh, no, I know. It's, it's pretty well known. I I actually didn't know that till the H Bomber guy video. Um, on uh, oh, yeah. I just found that out today. Anyway, so journal notes is on the left hand side. No, I I, I figured it out because there's only one ribbon on the left side. Yeah. Is, so the color. <laughs> yeah, hello, matter, Tara. Right? As long as I can look at the left of my screen. And, and, and see it. Well, the minute the minute I said that, I was like, "Wait, is it my left or my right?" Because when we were playing Baldur's Gate the other day, I gave him a bunch of instructions, and all of them were reversed. All right, yeah. all right. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock on the door. I, or, I, is there a bell or something? Uh, there is a uh, bell that you can ring. We're civilized folks. We ring the bell. Mm -hmm. Um, you do see a like a eye slot on the um, door itself open. Who is it? Hey, it's it's Billy Gardner. It's Mrs. Gardner's youngest. I was hoping to talk to Mr. Scanetti. Which one? Mr. Scanetti. The big Scanetti. Um, Sorry. maybe Mr. Titus if he's free. You want to go the, straight to the head? Okay. The, the figure closes the blind. A um, few minutes pass. They don't want to see you. Is is Mr. Chan available? I don't know where Chan went. He stormed off in a fury this morning. Uh -oh. Well, I was just I was thinking maybe we had some words last night and I could have shown him a bit more respect and I was coming here today to apologize and fill him in on, on what all was going on out of the church. I'll leave him a message when he gets back. <gasps> Wait. But where what? do you stay? Maybe we can reach out to you. I'm I'm kind of all over, but I gotta remember which place it is. Not the theater. Can I uh, perception to, to see if I feel like this guy is telling the truth about We do not him. stay in the yeah. church. Yeah, go ahead and uh, perception no, sense we, motive. We no, definitely no. stay at the church. Oh, I thought you said stay in the church. Like, my first thought was, since when do you use the phrase stan? We and second of all, we do not stay in the church. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, not give him personal residences. 
No, I'm trying Everybody to knows where Billy Gardner lives. Well, well, there's like five people in this town. There's specifically, there's one of the bars that I'm more likely to play. Um, and run. considering the fact that we don't necessarily crash in the same place two nights in a row, it's probably where any message is best left for me. And I got to remember which one it is. Because there's like five, and it's the one with all the theater people. You the there's 50 buildings in this town. I don't know if they support five bars. Uh, Rabble Rousers seems strong, sir, but we've done some jobs for, for Father Z. Crack to seven. I'll tell him to reach out to you. It'd be appreciated. I think he might appreciate the context. Uh, halfway he... through the sentence, the eyed window, like, closes. <laughs> oh, he does not care for you. Fucking right. peasant. All right. I think that went well. <laughs> well Grelka looks at her dubiously and is like, if you say so. I mean, we're not being shot at, so <laughs> I say that's a win. Look, they, <laughs> they said they'd leave a message. They didn't tell us to fuck off. I feel like... Probably about as good as it was going to get tonight, especially since Ch today, since Chan wasn't there. I feel like this is going to go the usual way eventually. <laughs> What's the usual way? If we end up oh, out fists. having to head out of town... That sorts? To ...see the pit and figure yeah. out all these boom things... I don't want these guys hanging around here making trouble for my brothers in the background. They're the Scarnettis. Billy. Billy, they're the Scarnettis. They're gonna make trouble. That's what they do. That's how they make a living. Yeah, but so, they're specific at you, you know? I assume at some point you go, um, you return to the church. Um, yeah, we'll go back. Sure. To the yeah. You return and you see um, Adrani, the elf that was uh, one of the uh, caster of uh, the ritual. I remember having negative associations with that name. I don't remember why. Was she a bitch Adrani? to us? No, she was nice. Oh, I don't know why then. I traveled with her. I showed, what? I showed up and she was there and when you guys exited the basement. Yeah, we yeah I like came yourself. in with her. And then just did the ritual. I'm actually kind of surprised you came with us to the Scarnettis this morning. <laughs> I got nothing better to do. And this seemed like it could be entertaining. I could be entertaining. I can be mm -hmm. delightful. Where the hell is Adrani? Uh, what are you looking That's for? Oh, there it is. He's going to pull up the picture so we can, uh. so we can see. Right? Right? You're going to yep. do the picture thing? Yeah. Picture yep. thing is so cool. <clears throat> Her. Boom! He did the picture thing. Ah, yes, that's her. The, um, the, uh, Cleric of Vishava. I don't know why I hate her. I just have sudden, randomly negative associations. Oh, it's her face. Her face is awesome. Eh. She's got, she's a bit Coraline mom. So. Yeah. I don't like her face. It's upsetting. It's, I mean, I don't like most of the faces because they're all very obviously AI generated. No, no, I don't. Know. I don't this is an AI generated. Dude, this, this is, is like this is the official art. I don't like the official art. Then whoever did the official <laughs> art sucks. <laughs> it's not blatant <laughs> health, AJ like Blortera. It. It's like the ha blatant art. hatred of this woman specifically in her weird looking eyes. Well, that's that's how all Pathfinder elves look. They they all have. Well, I guess I hate them all. Then <laughs> call me racist. <laughs> species. The truth is out. I'm species but, uh, against elves. You heard yeah, all, all elves in Pathfinder that have that kind of... They're, they're aliens. Like, the, the Pathfinder elves aren't, like, normal elves. They're straight up just aliens. Look, and, and please, this is Well, Pathfinder. she sure not, fucking looks like it. You're not speciesist. You're uh, ancestriest. Uh... <laughs> no. No, we're not doing that. No, I... Mm, no, we're not doing that. Speciesist I'm gonna call a racist in the chat. Hello. Great. <laughs> Peak and... Yeah. Did you want to sit in a kayak with someone else or just take a solo? Um, if there's, if, if someone's already rented a kayak, I don't mind. Or rented a canoe, I don't mind. Yeah, because we can get a max of four two-seater kayaks. Your friend is very loud, Sean. 
Sean, you're right next to your headphone. We could hear yeah, both ends should, of the you conversation. Take it solo for sure. Take it solo. You're just being completely <laughs> silent, but we could absolutely hear you. That's why I couldn't stop laughing, and the DM has muted himself. I'm getting called racist in the comments. The DM is taking a phone call. Uh, Tara says, "Take the kayak, Sean." I think you're getting canceled. Dude, Again? Sweet, this is my second time getting canceled. The first okay, time was uh, for actually starting a Balkan like, race war. We were, we race were war in the chat. Count because we're going canoeing next week. Not kayaking. Well, it's kayaking or canoeing. You go down the same river with whether you're in a canoe or a kayak. Last time I went uh, canoeing, um, I went. I for some some jackass put me in the same uh, canoe as my then girlfriend. Um, who had never been canoeing before. Oh, you guys suck. You couldn't go we got stuck road. a lot, and we also jumped the canoe, I think, while getting in it. My dad had to go out and rescue them at, like, the last 20 feet because they got stuck on a road. No, that was Yell and Ema the first time. Oh, so you've been rescued They got stuck on a branch. No, we got stuck multiple times on the, on the, um, bank. But we made it to the, uh, end point in the end. And then but, probably uh, got dumped out of the kayak because we overbalanced. You, you saying the dog was singing song at full volume and rammed into the bank? Yes, I did. We did do that. Fuck! Yeah. Ah, ah, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Oh. I remember that. Hey, um, that that was funny. Real fast, because I'm kind of on the edge of my seat. Um, are you taking a kayak solo or with somebody else? Um, I don't. I don't know. I so I told my brother. I need to know. <laughs> so I told my brother, I'll, I'll fill if someone wanted to use a canoe but didn't have a partner. Yeah, we know. By the way, if, yeah. if someone's taking campaign notes, this has to go into it. Okay, we need to have this for the session notes. Ooh, the break where the DM uh, accidentally uh, had this. Yeah. Like I thought you were like I was like, is that on speaker? No, he's just talking into yeah, his he's headphones. Super loud. <laughs> Clear no, it's the mic. no, because Sean had the fucking phone on his headphones. He didn't move his oh, headphones at all. He just put the phone yeah. over his headphones. So, so I thought you like, feel like you just, forgot so what like, headphones do. I, so I thought. I... Well, congrats! You just muted yourself. You did. I I... Yeah, he's doing that on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> but I yeah. So I you did mute it just now. Well, you did I squeeze the mute did earlier. You did not. You just put your brother <laughs> directly into the mic. All right. So uh, anyway, that was my brother. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tell your brother we said yes. hi. Hello, brother. Yeah. Tell your mom <sighs> I said hi. So, um, this is how we get five more viewers. <laughs> is you getting canceled for being racist against elves? And Sean taking a kayak. Yes. Or a canoe. I don't know. Or a canoe. We're not sure. Boats sell, man. I think that's what they say. Boats are sexy. That sex sells, like boats it. are sexy, therefore boats sell. I took a class in logic. I barely passed, but I took a class. So what what, what was this chick's name again? Adrani? Adrani. 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 Oh, priestess of Ashavi. Ashava. 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 That's what I said, but different. The, uh, the, the basic... Not what you did, said. Did, did you ever play Final Fantasy X? No. He's oh. played uh, slightly more video games than I have. All of them I, are pieces. I'm, I'm familiar with it, it, it's basically the DS. They basically do the exorcisms by casting the uh, spirits of the deceased off in a dance not unlike um, what's her face? Oh, right. I, I Googled, it's, it's, a, it's yeah, yeah. I Googled this shit last time. Okay. I know what it is. I remember. If it's a console game, assume he hasn't played it either. Yeah. I can. They're dancer cysts. I remember Googling. Dancer cysts. Jesus Christ. So, um, Father Xantis and, uh, calls you to the, uh, office where you've, uh, talked to him the past few times. Well, we have some research notes to, um, we, we have some, uh, notes to research, it seems. Um, you see, uh, Adrani, um, Kind of dressed for travel, um, not in the kind of uh, formal robe she was wearing for the ritual. Um, Heading back out of town, ma'am? Uh, yes, it looks like it's going to be a cold winter, so I'm going to be heading back to Roderick's Cove to live out the rest of the year. Oh, summer hams, fancy. Here, some winter 
couple of winter plays every year. Pretty mm. good. Pretty good. Indeed. I'd like to <laughs> thank you for your assistance in the ritual. I wish you luck with the matters here. Um, she gives a slight bow and then uh, walks out the office. She fancy. She got a summer home. The difference between Verizians and Sandpointers. The Rizians hear, oh, Sandpoint's getting more dooms, and they leave. We just got uh, I hate out. everything you just said. She. And I don't know if that was in she, character or not. She stays on the move. Um, there's spirits all over the Lost Coast, as is usual for any place with a storied history such as Verissia. Um, this yeah, pit, I do know... I do know this is a Thessalonian ruin of some sort. Um, you might want to... Thessalonian? Uh, yes. Um, the few notes we know about it, it's uh, Thessalonian. I would recommend uh, looking up uh, Broderick Quink. Um, he's one of the most notable researchers of Thessalon in town. Did I look at it? I already looked at it. Yeah, when, Fuck. We, were, when we were kids, Broderick Quink. we used to call him Rune Nerd, but... That's a fucking uh, face. Brute Nerd, that's a good one. So yeah, where can we, we find this Brute Nerd? I mean, Broderick. It would be rude. Um, he can... about it. Oh, yeah, you can find him at... Um... <laughs> You can find him at his house, um, where he uh, does his research. He might be able to help you, especially with those... Uh, I saw that you had a bunch of notes you had recovered from the uh, pit. Not the pit, the... Um, below the uh, boneyard. The crypts. The crypts. Wait, so, I looked at it, I got a 13. Did I know anything about this Thessalonian rune? With my overnight special interest? You know it's not far from Thistletop. It's uh, the ruin. Oh, the ruin. Yeah, it's a ruin. I thought we were talking about a letter. Um, no. Broderick's house is going to be eight on the map. Right yeah, near the ruin by... tower. He's over by the jump beat on the tower. Yes, um, I think I think he's acquaintances with uh, your kobold friend. Shop in Malabar's. Oh yeah, Shop of Malabars. <laughs> Shop of Malabars. I'm not doing that. Thank you. I'm I will do that next time I need to purchase explosives. You never know when you might need something, we fair. But um that might be the best place to begin your research on the pit. See what uh, they know before heading out, scouting the area. Or you it's me? It's me? <laughs> I hate you. On his lips. <laughs> no, I'm not zooming in on his lips. My brother just sent me a photo mm -hmm. of the screen of Brodart, of fo of whatever his face, Quink, whatever, and with the caption, what that mouth do? <laughs> he texted this to me. Well, yeah, because I didn't want to disturb the stream. Or the oh. So put it in the Discord. Just look at his lips. I'm not looking oh. at his lips, actually. I'm right. avoiding this. Right, right, right. Okay, so anyway. We need to go talk to Broder to get more information about the pit before we kill ourselves when we're into a place we don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. Or That's you could head off. Or you could, you know, head off to the pit right now. No, I want to learn more about ancient Thassalon. That sounds stupid. I, I know. That was. The research! Thing. Research! 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 Decipher more modern text as well. What? Um. Do it. For example, the uh, the letter that we found earlier. Uh, they're a specialist in Thessalonian research. I don't think they'd be in any help with that. Yeah, you just hand him a uh, Scarnetti's trash, and he's like, "I don't, I don't know what to do with this." <laughs> <laughs> My, it looks like a raccoon found this in a garbage can somewhere. It looks like somebody tried to start a letter and failed. If we go fishing around through certain people's discards. I don't think it has anything to do with us. Say we leave it alone. This is a Chekhov's gun right here. Out of character. I don't... don't Grelka definitely doesn't know what Chekhov's gun is. Does Chekhov's gun even exist in Pathfinder? Well, Chekhov doesn't exist. Fair. Yeah, I think Chekhov is a little later than the time period. We had a lot of other Russians. 
We do have a lot of Russians, but they're mostly Russian military. All right, all right, all right. So we'll go see Quink and and see what he can tell us. And then, you know, maybe we go camping for a couple of days. Relka's super stoked to learn more about Thassalon. Before we leave, um, I just want to go off to Father. Father, uh, you've been good to us uh, for a while now. We've done a lot of work for you. I just want to let you know this business with the Scarnettis. I think it's going in the wrong direction. And we're not always going to be at this cathedral. Look out for yourself, all right? Will do. You got to lay low. Might be a good idea. The past few years, it's been coming to a head between what you've done for the consortium. The Scarnettis wanted to stake a claim on the glassworks um, rather than reopening it. Well, it wasn't Mr. Titus here last night. It was his kid. We know he's a hothead. Let's not read too much into it. Look, Billy, I I know you want this to go well, but I just get a bad vibe from them. Well, everybody gets a bad vibe from John. He is a weird bad vibe. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he has good vibes. I don't trust the Scarnenis as far as I can throw them. What, all of them um, at once? To, to, or just one at a time? Because I could probably throw them pretty far one at a time. To put it in perspective, um, how much do you know about the founding of this town? Nothing. Yeah. I don't know. How much do I know about the founding of the town? Um, <laughs> Roll for it. <laughs> Good answer. I don't know. What did I learn in school? You go ahead and Go ahead and roll it. And you were raised here, Billy, so... Yeah, yeah, that's why I figure... I know very little, but Billy (laughs) knows more than me. Where is it? I kind of wish I bought the physical version of the PDF. So I could like leave like little flags in it. The physical version of the PDF. So that's a book. <clears throat> yes. Well, it's not a book. Well, actually no, Re- uh, return this uh this adventure is actually a hardcover. So like like a book. So so like a book. Yeah. So you wish you'd paid for the book. <laughs> like the first math. <laughs> Where is it? There is a note I was. Or are you saying you wish you had gone to the library and print and paid to print out each and every full color page of this book? Because I'm pretty sure that costs more than just buying the book. I use this mod. I think it's called Deep Down, and it lets you like search on the contents of things, which is really useful. Is it? Control F. Dig down. Mm. Downloading mods on stream. Yeah, I mean not now, but later. I'm gonna put it in Discord. Uh Aha. Um. So uh, during the founding of Sandpoint, um. During the founding of Sandpoint, a compact was made for some of the taxes of founding the town to go to the local Varisians. This is common knowledge. The compact was set to last for 20 years, and that time period is very quickly coming up for the next extension of it. The Scarnetti Consortium wants to end this agreement, um, basically ending the ties between this town and the local Varisians who inhabit not just here but the surrounding area and any small settlements in the area the local whatians varisians the as opposed the... to thessalonian thessalian yeah but varisians okay. they're kind of like uh gypsy kind people. of 
Okay. Uh, so Verisia is the country we're in. Thessalon is the it's like being it, modern Italy versus ancient it's Rome. It's like Rome, yeah. Okay, dope. And so the Thessalian Verisians are like the native people to the cove, but they didn't actually build in the cove. They just kind of wandered around the cove. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Well, yeah, we live here now, probably. There are no more Thessalonians. Thessalon is gone. So we didn't get the money, but it's like Alaskans getting oil money. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it the it seems like they've been uh, pushing to uh, end this uh, agreement uh, support not just the people in town but the Verisians in and around town. So would this somehow tie into their little intrusion in our uh, activities last night? How would that interplay with a ancient upset ghost who well, had ties to the church and not the Verisians? I don't know, but it seems like something, something's going to be going down, and I don't like it. Uh, anything further than that, I don't know. Do we know how old that ghost was? Uh, what, Nualia, the one Not you called? That old. Yeah. 17 years. 17 years gone? So yep. there are people alive who remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. Belly remembered. Well, that, that was, that was a, right? yeah. My, I was, I was seven and my my dad was killed and all that shit that went down so would there people be, be people who remember any who remember her situation well enough to note any connections between her and this agreement with the town um she i not really she was kind of in a perfect world she would have been raised by the community but not just the sandpoint itself but uh, my predecessor didn't really aid in her upbringing. Okay. Well, he aided, but himself. Yeah, by selling same. her body parts. But I don't believe that this is directly related to her, no. But okay. just a... But it's just that the Scarnettis have been pushing for the ending of this agreement for some time. Mm -hmm. Um, I know when uh, you guys cleared out that... Uh, the uh, glassworks, um, they were something furious in the aftermath of that. For for ghost busting the glassworks? It's been sitting there for 17 years. They could have paid for somebody to clean it up before we had to do it. Yeah, it's not like they lack for claim. money. They wanted to attempt to stake a claim for pennies on the dime. Doesn't it still belong to the Kajitsus? So their interest it... is financial. Hmm. Yes, um, though I imagine if you didn't assist the um, the Sandpoint Mercantile Guild, um, I imagine that that deal would have gone through. So their interest isn't so much with the supernatural as it is places that are haunted by the supernatural <clears throat> can be financed for a significantly fewer amount of uh, coins. As far as I can tell. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely at something. You got this group of people that they're willing to let everyone suffer to make a buck. That they're going to come in here and act like they care so much about the people of Sandpoint that they can't let us make peace with Nualia. Oh, that explains the riot then, or attempted riot. That's what, I, that's what I was trying to figure out. What was their investment in specifically preventing us from appeasing her? Mm. And when the dooms come, whatever those dooms are, they're going to try to make money off that, too. What if they I know mean, about the dooms? I don't think they know about the dooms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't. Plenty of people were, plenty of people were hurt and what Noalia got into. Yeah, so but do you think they fucking care if people get hurt? That's the point. We, I suppose we could pursue the ruins directly, right? Because there's some sort of link there. Yeah, I agree. Or we could pursue the Scarnettis directly because they know something. Well, let's see Sweet. bro nerd first. My mom being mostly okay around here. Hmm. Because if there's not money in the town, there's not money to exploit. That's I, I don't think we're yeah. going to crack the case of the Scarnettis right here, so why don't we I think we should this bro nerd I think guy? we should be more worried about the Dooms than we should be about the Scarnettis right now. Also, I really don't want to get my mom fired because I was fucking with the Skinettis. 
Fair enough. They do sound more interesting. Yeah, also, Thassalon. Did I tell you I'm really into Thassalon right now? Yeah, I did hear that. I stayed up all night for this shit. Yeah, at least one of us did. Mm. I had such a good time. I it, Insert girl info dubbing about Thassalon because she knows more about Thassalon than I do. I'm very happy for you, Velka. <laughs> Everybody else has tuned her out. <laughs> <laughs> Broca, did you hear that rumor that somebody found one of their like train stations or whatever south somewhere over by Magnamon? Did they really? Did they figure out how it was? Like, I mean, I don't know. I just heard that somebody found something weird. But if they figure out how it works, we could recreate it. And then we could have Thessalonian trains. I could ride on a Thessalonian train, Billy. Yeah, What's a train? It's it's like a lot of carriages. On a ra- on on a on a path that's dedicated exclusively to those carriages, and then they go real fast between one place and another mm. place, and they carry a whole lot of people. They don't use horses because they go faster than horses and carry more people. And you don't have to feed them. And you don't have to feed them. We think. Personally, I don't want to go where everybody else wants to go. Where Let's go find going? out more about Thessalon. Unless All right. Money. So uh, you're setting off for Brodick Quink's house? Yep. That is it. Only all of these NPCs have mouthfuls of names. The Quink. I mean, come on. Quinky. You know, the first time I was reading through this, I was like, wait, did they literally name him Quack? And I was like, no, no this is Quink. <laughs> In his younger days, he was Brodart Twink. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, Josh. See that mouth? <laughs> yeah. What that mouth do? Just, just zoom in on the lips. I promise you. I'm not zooming in on the lips. Zoom in. I'll put them in there. Just zoom in on the lips. I'm not zooming in on the lips. I already closed gotta, the picture. Gotta, I'm putting a relevant meme in memes. There you go. Oh no. Okay. Well, that's going on the. Hang on. <laughs> well, to edit, the original uh, was a silence bottom. <laughs> Rotor doesn't need to be a bottom because he's got her on top. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to put that on the... Is this the right one? I, that is not it. I think I just stopped derailing about this guy. <laughs> Let's go see him. Oh, it was your fault this time. <laughs> it totally was. So you arrive at his house. Billy said, "Figuring out why none of her brothers like this guy." Do I have? I'm used to having like descriptions for each building. Oh, I forgot I have scent. Oh, whatever. So yeah, uh, I put that on the. Here, the junk beach is just north of here. Mm. Well, you should really change it to silence, Quink. Wow. Oh, hey, the, it's no longer just the one fucking noise for the for sound alerts. We got the Owen Wilson wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, I really oh. liked that one. So you... I need to come up with a voice for this guy. <clears throat> It's on the lips. <laughs> we're not we're not zooming in on the lips. <laughs> so you arrive at uh Brodit's house. He's <laughs> probably the one of the rune watchers that you're probably the most familiar with in town. You see, um as you know, he set up his house on the junk beach where Thessalonian shit washes up all the time. Um he usually gets priority if uh, Malakar hasn't uh, snagged any given thing first. But Lord, um, Lord Terraclips is asking me to make lip smacking sounds into the microphone. <laughs> and, and don't do, do it! Don't do it! Uh, yeah, no, I said I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do that without terrorizing the party. And they're like, "No, I'll make him suffer." Literally gets so grumpy if eating smacking sounds happen. You... Well, Johan, I already finished my noodles, so. I assume uh, you guys knock on the door. Um, yes. 
Grelk is vibrating. <laughs> you see the door swing open. Ancient uh, dusty tomes and various pieces of uh, Thessalonian knickknacks scattered throughout the house. Yes, who is it? He says, opening uh, the door. Oh, company. Uh, for what can I bid you welcome? So we heard you're a, uh, a scholar of ancient Thessalon, and we would like to speak to you. Well, they, they're going to look you over. Adventurers, <laughs> after looking over, like, each of you. Well, I mean, you can't really mistake us for anything else. <laughs> oh, well, also, um... A shop at Malabar's. For God's sake. Oh, he he's he's my friend. He's he's like right down the road. He he's gonna point to their little cart, like, you know, not far away. <laughs> oh, you see true. you see you see the kobold give like a distant wave. <laughs> we all wave back. <laughs> We're his affiliates. Um well, um, welcome in. Um I, I do do note um, we could work out agreement, but uh, otherwise um, I do charge for my services. Uh oh, can we afford that? Well, <laughs> it's uh, well, it's sorry, five. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We can talk about payment, absolutely, but you should know that we are getting ready to start an expedition into a previously unexplored ruin, and we could give you a certain amount of exclusivity on what we get back. Well, now you're speaking my language. Save a little bit of money on our end now. Pay dividends in the future. Well, where are you going to ex excavate? You ever heard of the pit? I'll bite this up. Oh, y yes. Um, we have some paperwork on it. Uh, we've recovered over the time. Um, you're going to start excavating it or explore it? More, more exploration in the adventurer sense than, you know, a bunch of scholars from Magnum are doing an excavation with ropes and their little signs. Well, my library is open to you then. In fact, I will make you an offer. I am all ears. So, as, uh, I don't know how much you know about the pit, but, um, it seems to be separated into floors of some sort. All right. Not me personally, but as us as the Rune Watchers, we will be glad to pay you for detailed schematics of each floor of this. I don't know how to make a map. Do you know how to make a map? Hey, Nanas. Hi. Nanas? You think you can figure out how to draw a map? You got a, you got a crayon? The raccoon can draw maps? He has manual dexterity and he's independent. Yeah, they got it. They got manual dexterity, and they're independent. It takes a little more than that to be a cartographer. Okay, this is purely out of character. I am going to be weirdly passionate about the fact that it takes actually a lot of skill to be a cartographer. Give me one moment, and I will uh, die check. on this hill. Because there is actually a uh, skill that uh, it's crafting is the skill. You As say. somebody who has had tried to draw fantasy maps based on a real location. It's not just, no, Ter we're not just to make squiggly lines. That's not how you pay for your fucking information. Oh, God, yo. So, uh, Scoville is actually the uh, best at crafting here. Not of really. course he is. That doesn't make sense. That that makes sense, I mean. So, I we will pay you. We will also give you an extra stipend for any uh, Thessalonian secrets you may, you may be able to uncover. What constitutes a secret? Mm, things that are out of the way, not generally there. Things other people don't know. None of us is experts, so... I am! Well, Thessalonian amateur! Thessalonian ruins are renowned for having secret compartments, false doorways... Well, listen. All right, all right. You're in for a great deal, because I know very little, so I'm going to be finding lots of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking secrets by Davor's standards or secrets by my standards or secrets by Billy's standards or secrets by your standards we can calculate it once you bring the map back what dad said as though it made sense <laughs> and this will be on a per floor basis absolutely absolutely 
And um, I suppose if we find artifacts that that you might be interested in purchasing those. I'll be first in line. All right, right of first refusal. To uh, one, the Mr. Quink. To be recompensed by floor. Any secret architectural features to be especially highlighted and marked in the map? Weirdly, we all have this perfectly exact five foot step. It's going to really help with calculating things out. We were all in band. Well, I was in band. You were in band? Yeah, you didn't see me? I played the, tr I played the tuba. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, if Grogu doesn't strike you as a brass kid, uh, you're not, you don't know enough about band kids. No, no, I know band kids. So. I know. <laughs> as you start perusing his library, he has it sorted in uh, alphabetical order because you uh, can't really store old documents in uh, Dewey Decimal, especially when a lot of them are just like personal missives and what have you. Um, y So... You get a bonus, so you get a plus one bonus to all research checks you get here. And I'm about to post all four of the skills that you can do. Can you do body floor? Uh, or uh, you can also give me Thessalonian lore. I can do that! I scared the cat. Oh. I'm gonna do Looks the like I'm out. He's meowing directly into the microphone. Uh, the best place to research Thessalon. Oh, come on. <laughs> Would you like to hero point that? No. <laughs> um. I can roll for Thessalonian, Lord. You think we're better at that than me? Taking out a little tune while I read books. I why? So. Mm. Okay, I was about to say, why am I rolling like shit today? But then I saw it was daggers. Grelka. Yes, what do I know? You were the first one. Fuck oh, you, Billy. Success. So, between... So, that is... Two research oh. points. I actually have a better diplomacy than I do Thessalonian lore. Um, Thessalonian lores use a lower DC. They're a DC 14. Oh, okay. Oh, let's go. Fuck you! <laughs> I spent all night on this shit and Davor just knows things magically. I'm trained. I don't know if that matters. No. He just, the, guys... the information was beamed into his head. He was demurring earlier when he was like, I don't know anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm a plus you two. I'm lying, yeah. Jennifer, no. Lord Terra Clip you says, guys... Yo, Billy. So you guys actually max out your first uh, research location. Really? So you discover, for many years, the ruined tower known as the Old Light was thought to have been an ancient collapsed lighthouse. But now that more has been learned about ancient Thessalon, the Old Light has been revealed to be once been known as the Hellstorm Flume, a powerful weapon used by... Rune Lord Alasnus to protect her nation's eastern border with that of Rune Lord uh, Karzug's nation of Shalast. Despite the name, the Hellstorm <clears throat> Flume had no direct association with Hell itself. It was called so for its ability to emit a flume of searing fire at extraordinary range to blast approaching armies with a devastating inferno. Well, that sounds terrifying. Oh my gosh. Thrilling! So as I guess Davor at least partly is uh, discussing this um with the, the Davor just weirdly knows a lot about the hellstorm <laughs> flume Davor weirdly knows a lot about this no uh, so what i imagine happens they actually like knock over like a book that like opens it to the exact page that describes like the old light <laughs> so probably. Davor's just reading this out loud in a monotone not understanding anything he's saying <laughs> it was a diplomacy role so Davor might have also just irritated um Broder Twink. Yeah, he's Broder -twink. Off, so he just pulled out the. No, it's Broder Twink now. <laughs> His name's Twink. We all know he's a Twink. We know what that mouth does. <laughs> so, well. I just, you know, as a as a down payment, like in future association, 
Um, I don't suppose you would be interested to know that we found a a small shrine to a Lasnister or a section of tunnels underneath the church. Shrine to a Las. I wonder if that was a part of the Hellstorm Flume. Do you have any of the notes that you had? Um, that any things you may have found down there of note? You can certainly have the notes that we found. They're going to look over them. But uh, you are now at four research points. That's good. And you've actually, exha you've actually exhausted uh, Bruder Quink's uh, library. Quink. Oh, um, damn. Does anybody have any objections to giving him the old and fragile skull scroll from that we found in, in the tunnels down there? No. I mean He's better capable of discovering it than we are. And preserving it. And utilizing you know, it. it might Where did you find it. these specifically? Uh, downstairs. We did like, not take detailed notes of location and There was a, a collapsed tunnel connecting to some crypts underneath the graveyard. Um, that can connected you, through to these tunnels. Can you take me down there? No. Maybe. Yes. Well, as assuming it's, it's clear, of course. <laughs> it seemed like it was clear, it clear when we left. It was clear when we left. We would be happy to long. walk in front, of course, and take the brunt of any mistakes we may have inadvertently. Was there overlooked. that potential other passage that was, like, rubbled off? Also down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, there was. So, now that you're doing a on-site investigation of the focus itself... You can give me one of these or one of these with a plus two bonus for having Quink with you. You won't let me roll it. You have to be trained. Uh, no. Or Thessalon lore. Select at least one token. All right, I got plus zero or plus zero. Here we go. Big bad dog. Dang. Plus two, you said? Yep, with a plus two for having Quink alongside you. Oh, let's... Yo. I got an eight. Would a eighteen work? Oh, there you go. Oh, Dav fuck works. you, Dav. What the fuck, Dav? Right, Yo, well, Billy got a crit fail. I'm gonna. Can I hero point that? Yes, you may. Poor Billy being shown up by Dav, who's just picking up books and getting lucky. Oh yeah. Um, it, intellectual pursuits have always been my forty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a critical success. Critical success. You guys actually instantly uh, exhaust this research location as well. And you are up to a maximum of eight research points. We know everything! No, no, you don't. Well, don't tell Grelka that. Um, you figure out that the strange stones below the Sandpoint Cathedral are magically linked to the Hellstorm flume still, despite the tower's ruined state. It appears that the stones were used to activate, focus, and aim the flume's fires, but the magic remaining within the stones today is barely enough to maintain the link to the old light. So increased magic and increased um, length? You do believe a sufficient uh, amount of magic being channeled into it, would uh, not only immolate Sandpoint, but much of the surrounding area. Oh. That sounds so that's bad. bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's great. Oh, boy. Is, is there any... Huh. I wonder if we could talk to... Because the, the, the place we're talking about is, above the church, is below the church, right? Yes, it was below the church. So could we potentially tip off the, the preacher man? I forget his name. Um, uh, the... Epsilar Xantis? Yeah. Father Z? Potentially tip off Father Z, yeah. Uh, to maybe figure out what precautions he could take to prevent a transfer of energy on his end. I'm a shot. Um... We, we at least ought to kind of tell him about it, probably. Mm hmm. And if he can do something, great. There... I, there's nothing really I can do about it. Um... You you guys also know that um, it's quite decrepit. It would also take a lot of uh, man work, you know, a lot of work, a lot of uh, time to actually, man, you know, get it in such a state that it would immolate the surrounding area. 
Well, care. we could tell a whole bunch of people about it and make them all curious about it, or we could keep our mouths shut and leave it down here mostly harmless. Well, given um, that it's Carnetti's disposition, I feel like uh, any news of coming out of uh, you guys excavating more um, whatever this is would not be helpful for anyone. Fair. Outside the Scarnetti's at all, if we make a stink about it, we're going to end up with a bunch of academic tapes from Magnamar descending on us. Indeed. And what do we do about it? I think I... we block up that hole. Entirely? I mean, do we have a choice? We know about it. There may come a day when it's safe to explore it further, but for now... So we're so we're not gonna take a uh, quink through it. Quink. I mean, we I think we did take quink through it. I think that's why we figured it out. Yeah. Oh, we just kind of okay. Now we're figuring out what to do I with it. That. Um, you guys don't believe you can do anything about it right now, but you also know it would take an incredible amount of man work to actually trigger it to go off. Mm. Because uh, everything's kind of in a. Uh, Ruined state at the moment, though. Um, so it, it would take like weeks of. Yeah, of labor. it would take it would okay. take like a long time, and it wouldn't be particularly quiet work because the old light would start glowing. You know, there would be obvious signs that someone's doing something. So maybe we just come in here once a week or something, make sure there's nothing going on, till we can figure out something better. Probably the best. We should probably let uh, Father Z now. Are you going to talk about this, Mr. Quink, with, with your Rune Watchers? The Rune Watchers are the organization I trust the most. They may have more information. Um, I'm going to try and limit what information I'm giving them. I don't want to get... I don't want... Ah! Out, and I don't want it connected to you. Thanks for the follow. Another follow, nice. Yeah, that one was also loud. Why? Don't ask me questions. I can't so, answer that. So, yeah, the Rune Watchers don't know about it. Father Z will know about it. And and maybe we leave it at that. Yep, need to know. And in the meantime, maybe one of you, Dev or Groka or Daga, could block up that hole back again with some of this scrap wood those goblins left? Yeah, I can do that. Did you say that we could do that shot, or were you saying that? Yeah, that you can, that? you can, okay. you can block it up, no problem. Do you want us to roll anything, or we just do it? Oh no! It, okay, it's just done. Cool. There's no, so there's no checks needed. <laughs> you're not under any. There's like no time constraints or anything going on. So. Now, over the, if we're planning on our expedition out to the pit to figure some stuff out around there. Is there anything, sir, that you would recommend we bring with us? Well, it's not far from uh, Thistletop. I would suggest... He, he's going to, like, look out the window towards the kobold who's gleefully manning the stand. You could take him with you. I'm sure they would yes. want to go. Shut it. Sounds good to me. Have a Malibus. Um, you never know what kind of equipment you're going to need, and having someone like that, at least in the vicinity, would uh, prevent someone from catching up uh, and possibly getting a drop on you. Uh, especially with uh, ruins being uncharted as they are. Well, let's do it then. All right. So, would you like to depart now? You would probably arrive somewhere like 5 p.m. ish, you know, early evening. Um, if you were to depart now, or you could always just leave in the morning and arrive early. Well, I'm okay with leaving now. Yeah. It's similar. Get probably there, a good idea to leave now. Enough time to figure out where to camp and gather our surroundings before heading out in the morning to explore directly. 
Yeah, we should probably, I think, I think a few of us have people in town we should let know we're leaving. Yeah, I should probably tell my ma. I should tell my ma. Also, I bet I can get sandwiches. That'd be nice. Oh, this sandwiches. Are they packed in a brown paper bag, too? I mean, brown paper packages tied up for the Probably. Sandwich. But they don't have to stay in a brown paper bag. These are a oh, few of my favorite status. things. Of uh, paper production is on Galarian. <laughs> so, well, apparently good enough that so we can like, just have paper scraps so, of trash. So, it, there is printing presses, um, namely in big settlements, Magnamar, um, Alkenstar, um, Absalom has quite actually quite a few of them. Got it. Um, Information does also travel fast because of uh, magical communication being pretty common. Mm -hmm. I'm in here. Um, you, um, out of character, the um, a lot of organizations actually knew about the fall of Last Wall incredibly quickly after uh, the Radiant Fire went off. Well, that's what happens when you have telepathy. Right, all right, all right. So we gather up our stuff and we get ready to head out. Making my way downtown. Walking Walking fast. Fast. Right, Paul, it's maybe a, a day's hike and stuff to get out to Thistletop. Yeah, yeah I think you said. Yeah, you'd probably arrive fine. there early evening, 5, 6 p.m. Okay. Sorry, I keep getting texts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that who's buzzing? Oh, you're yeah, getting texts? Here... But yeah. Tex is right there. He's on my screen. How are you getting texts? <laughs> I can hear what's going on because I have an earbud in, by the way. So right. if I Give me one I second. Oh, sure. I've got to get my Final Fantasy fourteen game fuel. Oh, gee. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What? I don't either, and I'm not is sure I want to know. Is it just... I think it's a Drake. Did they brand game fuel for that? I don't know. Is that what G fuel stands for? I thought it stood for gamer fuel. Hey, look. It's game fuel. No, ah, that's is that Mountain Dew? <laughs> oh, we should have known. Middle schoolers and champions. I'm pretty sure. All right, all right, all right, all right. I had Mountain Dew, regular Mountain Dew for the first time la this week. Last week, it tastes like corn syrup. Now officially, three types of gamer fuel. It's, it's this is actually this is actually gamer fuel zero. There's Mountain Dew, gamer fuel, and piss. <laughs> Thanks, Tex. Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Listen, the only people who offer to sponsor me are fucking, uh, what's the Raid Shadow Legends? It's Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, I will say. Will and they, wanted me, they wanted me to post on three different social medias. I don't have three different social medias. I, bet I will say though. one of my besties actually did get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. And I made like a bunch of like sock puppet accounts and I just repeatedly started playing the tutorial to keep generating accounts. And then I actually automated the process and they got the maximum available payout from them. I wish Damn, I, I wish we had, I wish, awesome. uh, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't no, fulfill the, I couldn't fulfill the contracts, but the contract statement by uh, posting about it on three different uh, social media accounts because my main social media is Tumblr and I would get canceled so hard. I don't think anyone would judge a small content creator for taking money from Raid Shadow Legends. On Tumblr? Yes, they would. Tumblr is famously anti-money. Sounds like that's not the platform for you, and you should start creating three different platforms. Uh, you want me to create three different platforms? You could You could have created a yeah. Blue Sky. You could have created a Facebook. I don't have you a following anywhere but Tumblr and YouTube. That's that's the the only Twitch. stipulation was posting about it. Right. So you create a MySpace, right? Nobody's going to see that. All right, anyway. I had a MySpace. Anyway, back to the I game. had a MySpace anyway. when I was 12. Anyway, 7 News for Stands for is sponsored you by Piss. Get yours today. <laughs> Thanks, Tex. <laughs> We're changing the stream title to Sponsored by Piss. <laughs> yes. Oh, we need a new map. We're leaving town. You are. Oh, right. Come on, 
I'm sorry, I forgot where my notes are. Um, do you do you like pack up Malabar and take him with you? Does he, you pack does up he want to come? Oh, yeah. Or pack up himself? I can does come. I like places. <gasps> it would be fantastic to have you along. I figure, as an expert crafter, you would be you would be invaluable in the creation of maps, helping Scoville out. Oh yeah, if anybody knows cartography, it's this guy. I know, I know maps. Y y I draw them with crayons. Is crayon the only drawing implement in this town? Crayon is the implement well, of professional. Most people, personally most... speaking, as a ranger, that's what all... everybody uses. <laughs> wait, I thought they ate them. Oh wait, no, that's the uh, is that the Marines? That's the Marines. Uh... Yeah. No, I'm talking about my character. Yeah, no, he's oh. not actually. He's a he's a medic, not a ranger. But yes, it... technically that's true. <laughs> but also, those those occupations aren't mutually exclusive. I think you'd have to stay in the army a little longer than a few years to be a ranger. Yeah. Sparkles oh, are not coming out. Before we left, some if kind I want, of if I wanted to, I could. But I do I'm sure you could. That pipeline is dog shit. And I'm not I... for it. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, the scope will have uh, writing implements do, for do cartography. It has to be a crayon. If you don't have a crayon, we're going to be upset. Okay. Hey, Tex. Yeah. Do you have a writing set in your inventory? Not this character. Okay, I think we need to buy one. Somebody in the party needs uh. to buy one. Before we I'll go. buy one because I'm probably not going to be super good for the researching aspect so I can be the note taker. How's your handwriting? He's got he's uh, got the crafting skill. He's the best one of the party. I'm honestly pretty good at handwriting. Well, if Malabar's oh, yeah, probably. coming along, <laughs> Malabar's now the best crafter of the party. He is, <laughs> but... Let Scoville the... have this. I've bought a writing set. Yeah. Also, to be fair, also, Malabar's probably going to be interesting looking at all of the shit. Mm-hmm. We can, we can switch back and Actually, forth. Actually, Groka might have a writing set. For bad poetry. For... She does! I have a writing set! That's awesome. Okay, Groka was supposed to be a... Groka's design was hopelessly gay, okay? Right. Oh. We got the disaster lesbian. <laughs> so, Malabar. Thank you for getting what I'm getting it. I think yes. you... I think we've got a good thing going on with your uh, your shop here. And uh, I know business is booming. I saw one person come up today. Yeah, I, well, <laughs> absolutely. And, and oh yeah, who's that? I am absolutely devoted to being your your marketing arm. So I wanted to uh, discuss what they call branding with you. Uh, no fire. What, what would you think about putting a nice? Shop at Malabar's uh, drawing on this uh, vouch yard here <laughs> on the shaft. So then anyone that sees it will just know that I represent Malabar's. <laughs> Replacing your cloak with a fucking Dav's branded cloak? Put, like, like <laughs> and a, a Macar's like branded cloak? Uh, it's Pride Month Malabar, yeah, you know what that means. Banners that we put on the back of Grelka because they're the tallest. <laughs> So it's just like, like gay bombs? Like, Sean, Sean. Sticking up above their head. I'm sorry, I just, I just, I just thought of that uh, comic. Uh, it's from, the original was from fucking Breaking Bad. No. <laughs> no. Like, uh, gay meth. <laughs> so wait, so Dav is turning into a NASCAR driver is what I'm hearing? I'm glad I'm not the Basically. only one who thought of me, oh, like, he's gonna start wearing, like, NASCAR outfit like, level ass. Yeah. Just yeah. covered in brands. Sponsored yeah, by Piss know. and Malabar's Bizarre Bazaar! Mm -hmm. Dude, if we could get the various shops to sponsor us, he's, that honestly would he, not be a bad thing. The problem is, we're kind of sponsoring Malabar's. Writing on your polearm, shop at Malabar, so that's the last thing people see when we yeah, kill that's them. That's exactly why I wanted one there, so I can stab people and it's just shop at Malabar's. Well, you <laughs> can't fucking Malabar's. kill potential customers. That's not good marketing. That's excellent marketing. Yeah. Yeah, they'll Malabar, be like, this, this is Malabar why you have no customers. really works. They're friends after they run. 
We'll shop at Malabar's. So they know we will not. And we're winners. I don't think y'all understand trauma. So, it's the early evening. You arrive. Yes, you have your you have your paper bag sandwiches. Billy's right. made all of her armor and weapons invisible and has just been like following everybody along with her loot, like oodalali oodalali all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Is a rooster singing that? Oodalali oodalali golly what So <laughs> give me one moment. This right scene. Yes, it is. I'm going to copy. I'm going to view the Hellstorm Catacombs. I'm going to copy you over so I don't break the tokens. Again. That's nice. As far as I can tell, Dagus' token's already broken. Yeah, I just haven't fixed it. If it bothers you guys enough, I'll like try to figure out what I did wrong. But I don't. I'm well, the first thing you did wrong was exist. Like, okay, I'm more invested in, like, the actual stuff that's going on. No, 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 no. Like, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah. I do appreciate that I'm the one faking an East Coast accent, and you just unironically said use guys. Did I? <laughs> so, fun fact. <laughs> my, my accent's just been, it went from Ohio to South Carolina to San Antonio, Texas to North Carolina. So it's just right now is what it is it's like who am i where am i from you sure you're from ohio yeah it's just a mishmash of nonsense right now so. it doesn't help that ohio gets a lot of east coast um influence yeah. yeah for example i was born in new jersey i learned to say coffee as coffee you did Anybody yeah even coffee? daddy th our parents thought it was very funny anybody want a peanut <laughs> hey. Is the scene supposed to be switching over, Sean? Um, I'm it, I'm honey. loading. It's activate. Well, I was getting I was getting, right, getting your guys. token over before you came over. Unemployed in Greenland. <clears throat> All right. So, have we established some sort of a camp on the outside of this thing? Yes. Yeah. 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 You've established a count camp. Um, I, far from. Like are we going straight in, or can I like figure out what's going on around? In yes, the you, area you jump. Like... You can jump in the hole if you want. Oh, okay. Jump in the hole. That's jump that's in the hole. But um, you arrive. There we go. A vast hole yawns in the rocky plateau, measuring a good fifty feet in diameter and dropping away into a fog-filled shadows below. What is the sides like? of the pit are steep, nearly vertical, and are relatively smooth without many obvious handholds. The bottom of the pit's clouded by a thick layer of fog that starts 50 feet down. A five-foot-wide ledge creeps over the eastern side of the pit about 20 feet from the rim. A rickety-looking uh, wood ladder leads down from this ledge to the pit's southern edge, and additional ladders connect to even deeper ledges disappearing down in the fog layer below. The air around the edge of the pit feels colder. It's silent within, but it feels like the type of untrustworthy quiet that could any moment give vent to an unnerving scream. Well, this is ominous. Uh, what's, uh, what's it smell like? Um, musty. Um, you can, you catch some hints of rot. Uh, oh, so it sounds like old, the old tombs of death. So you see, give me one second. I need to go to another map. Well, I was told there would be a pit here, and I have to say I'm not disappointed. So um, you guys... All of us and our... <gasps> it's a small human. Between all of us and our ten feet of rope, we should have... Cobalt! Cobalt! We'll and then we'll still be fucked. There's a ladder. I thought he said there were no handholds. Or minimal handholds. There's a ladder. There's a ladder on the opposite side. <laughs> well, I can see it in the map. Dagger. You mention it. I assumed it wasn't there. No, these yeah. maps are custom made for this, so if it's on there, it's probably there. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, this you is all... You down in, buddy. You go right ahead, but I'm going to walk around and use the ladder. There. Give me one second. <laughs> oh, game's paused. Well, no, yeah, I'm I'm still uh, setting up some things because of the time you arrived. Oh, hey. My icon got fixed, even though it's not fixed for my character sheet. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, Stop dying. She left. This mute, this, 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 this ambi, this like fucking windy ambiance. Oh, you there's... see a trio of uh, goblins. Um, you can, they're actually right about here. Oh, I love the design of Pathfinder goblins. They're nice. adorable. They're, they're very great. iconic. But they're so fucking a, cute. You see a trio of goblins. Um, you see a cow with like a bag over its head, and them trying to like push the cow over the edge. What the what? fuck? What the fuck? Patronage for Rip Nugget! Patronage for Rip Nugget! Oh. I call out about oh, him again? Talk to them? That guy's still Gaddis? I call out in Goblin. Don't be speaking. Hey, friends! Wait. Greetings from the Sandpoint Goblins. Longshanks? Well, you know, the outside doesn't matter nearly so much as the inside. They stop pushing on the cow for the moment. Um. Well, you speak goblin. Um. Wh why are you here? I'm gonna go down the pit. Why are you here? Because Rip Nugget demands sacrifices. Who's Rip Nugget? They're gone. Um, give me. A... Out of, yeah, I need to do some out of character. I know who he is. <laughs> In character, does Billy have a I, fucking I, clue? I, I saw, I saw you smile as soon as they sell rip nuggets. <laughs> do we? Do we do or immediately rolls religion. Or immediately yeah. rolls religion. <laughs> probably more like society or article. I'll roll society. Oh, I'm trained in religion. Well, nice. religion does technically work, considering because um. Woo. <sighs> Um, you guys are familiar enough with the stories. You know, uh, Rip Nugget was a um, goblin grave knight that existed here in the uh, past. Dope. And uh, you know what they say about grave knights? What? If you wear the armor, you turn into a, a grave knight. Well, what? Um, was it, wasn't Rip Nugget? Rip Nugget was like leading the goblins that attacked Sandpoint, right? Yes. So I probably don't have. Super Great. positive associations with Rip Nugget as an individual. <laughs> oh, Rolling on. Really? Sounds like the kind we of thing Rip Nugget would want. Should we so let we Rip Nugget take the cow? Cows. Yeah. Or should we take the cow? Because that, that's a lot of meat. What are we going to do with a cow, Davor? Do you know how to fucking. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, I know how to do that. I, I'm assuming skinning and butchering a cow would be survival. I have that. Yeah, yeah, it would be survival. I have that too. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, skinning, killing the cow, sure. Skinning the cow. You guys are oh, bickering to themselves, and the goblins slowly resume trying to push the cow down. The oh, hole. I have survival yes. too. <laughs> yeah, but we can't eat all that. Right, get this cow, or do we do? We can't eat all that. That's a whole cow. No, no, no. That I don't doesn't matter. We, we'll dry it. We'll make jerky. The point is denying rip nugget. It's not. No, 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 no. I mean, if the guy's dead, what's he gonna do with the cow? Is he dead? What if he yeah. makes it into an undead cow? What if the cow Nugget makes oh. Zombie cow! Rip Nugget's no dead! He's back! We are wasting time. Let's this is interesting what? information. Do tell me more Deny about the enemy the resources. Back. Hush. Since when he been back? Um. I don't know. He's been back longer than I've been alive. So, how long have you been alive? How long that? Three years. Like, at least three? <laughs> <laughs> have you Damn. seen Rip Nugget? Yes. Oh, fuck. How's he looking these days? Rotted. Oh. So, maybe a little bit dead, you think? Just a little bit? Wait. Is he moving? Well, he, he's, he, he moves. He's alive. Oh. Well, you know, there's a life and a life, man. <sighs> Uh, they 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 slowly resume trying to push the cow. I don't think they're getting into fil into like existential debates with you. Can. Like roll oh. deception to be non-threatening and make my way towards them. Give me one second. One of them. I'm gonna actually take an athletics check from one of them. I think that would be more diplomacy <laughs> than deception. No no no. They they're trying to get the cow in the hole. This, this and is I'm trying to make my way Wait. Question. Where is Rip Nugget? Is he in the hole? 
I don't think it matters right now. I think it does. I think we just have to deny Rip Nugget the cat. Um, I think that's... We're going in the hole if there's a zombie goblin grave knight in the hole. We don't want to. I mean, we were going to hold regardless of the cow. Makes I know, but it'd be nice to so, know. So, what if the goblins runs at the cow, the cow, attempting to like finally push it in the hole, misses the cow entirely, and then tumbles <laughs> down the side of the cliff? Oh no! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Hold off with the cow. Looks like Rimno gets guided sacrifice. And then how the rules work? Yes. You're not good at this. I'm not going to be honest. You're not really good at this. No, we've done this before. We only lost three last time. Well, that's because you didn't stop when one fell in. If one cow would have worked, one goblin still better than a cow. Why does Rip Nugget need cows? Me. Well, not a goblin, apparently. I feel like if you put a, throw a cow down, that would just fall on his head. They're not... Well, th there's a lot down there. <laughs> Oh? Like what? Have you been down in there yourself? Yes! I live down here! Oh sweet, how far in do you, how far in you guys live? Three? At least? I don't know, I don't know how to count. <laughs> I love goblins. Hey, <laughs> did you ever consider that maybe Rip Nugget is a vegetarian and that's why he's so angry? <laughs> I love how you've just like everything Dav says is like the a is like is the tone of an '80s action movie one-liner, but it's all the stupidest shit ever. <laughs> oh, I have a plus two deception, so if I'm wrong, this is gonna go really well. A okay, vegan rip nugget. <laughs> Dav is just McBain. I don't know who McBain is. Great. Look, look, look! We're all a bunch of goblins here, right? How about... I see, I see Longshank and Big Goblin. Wait, no, you're you're a half orc. We got regular goblins. We got. Hey, I'm not goblins. a half orc. You talk about me. <laughs> oh. We got Bloody Goblin. We got I'm half orc and half something else. I don't know what. I have adopted ancestry goblin. No, I'm a half orc. What's your other half? Orc. Probably. <laughs> I don't That's know. My me. mom's a half orc. My dad, we don't talk about. I'm a half orc on my ma's side and something else on my dad's side. <laughs> Android somehow. <laughs> yeah, robot ancestry. Welcome to well, Starfinder, no. so, bitches! So no no no. The Pathfinder androids are like they're not like robot androids, they're like synthetic humans. They're replicants, like they, they, basically. They, they, like yeah, they're replicant. Like they, they eat, think, drink, sleep, fuck. I mean We've already got fuckable androids. It's called real dolls. All right, guys. I was gonna say. I was just gonna say any robot. So, Did you know that real dolls have modular pussies. You're too what? human for me. They're upsetting to look at. Yeah, I, I know it because the bro dart guy had one on his mouth. Okay, moving along. <laughs> <my life. laughs> We are, Josh! we are ungovernable today. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's like hurting cats. I'm not sorry. Don't be sorry when you ain't sorry. I'm not sorry. If I was sorry, I would stop, and I'm not stopping. All right, look, 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 fellas. Well, if you've already fed Rip Nugget, your, your buddy, what's his face, who can't keep his feet underneath him. I'm waiting for this guy to start yell up from the lowest, from the, lo from the ledge. Let's say you and us Take the cow, go to wherever your tribe has been hanging out. Well, they live down there. Cow. We live here. You they said live you down live there. In we yeah. We, we we took they're this the, cow. The, the gift to give to Rip Nugget. And then came back. Well, yeah, but Rip Nugget got a goblin, so now you still have a cow. He asked He's for a cow. He asked specifically. Well, he usually likes cows. So he, so you don't know what he, he ever wants. tell you he likes cows. What if he wants a nice carrot? He didn't eat me when I gave him a cow last time. What if he wants a pepper? Did you Maybe that's because that? he was feeling so yeah, nauseated for meeting the yeah. cow. Yeah, he give him a fucking a nice, a nice Serrano. Yeah. We know a guy who has peppers. So, you know, maybe we can hook you up with that instead of a cow. They're goblin peppers! And Grelka, like, does, like, Vanna White's and, uh, Scoville. 
You clearly know nothing about the culinary arts. <laughs> this man's a cook, and Groga like know, like flattens her palm onto Scoville's head, and Scoville like buckles a little. I know that you longshanks eat cows. I know Rip Nugget liked the cow, and I gave him to him. Yeah, 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 well, why don't we just ask Rip Nugget? Yeah, bring us to Rip Nugget, and we'll find out. Yeah, we'll just yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll ask him. Can we go see Rip Nugget? We actually we have business with him. Yeah, actually, we need to talk to Rip Nugget. Yeah, we actually don't need to go back and down the hole, actually. So, also, this is this is this just works out well for everyone. We can have a nice civil yeah. conversation. Sure. Watch watch your step, though. Um, one of them kind of scurries to the ladder. Um, it's uneven terrain, so they need to roll a check. <laughs> Not to fucking all fall in like fuck it, like a fucking pinball machine that's getting emptied yeah. out. Um, let's see. Athletics. That one time? makes it. Okay, as long as this one rolled a... the so another one kind of topples like over the edge. Why do they live in the pit? <laughs> Grog was just staring at them with like moderate disappointment so and no of, surprise. One of them falls over the edge. His land. His head like slams into like the second level. Oh no! And then continues following down the pit. Oh no! Never met show. This is, this is why we are not overrun they have not, I assume right. they haven't repaired the ladders ever. Uh, this is why no. lack of safety railings in the they're yeah. all you age three or under. If this is why we need that. OSHA. If this is why we need We're gonna found fucking... Pathfinder OSHA. I will say, Starfinder, I will say, in Starfinder, there is an archetype called the safety inspector. Okay, yes. we gotta play Starfinder so I can be a safety inspector. There's also a spell named... Uh, Distributed denial of strength attack. What? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Oh. The DDoS. Except you're tech, you're making people exhausted. Oh. Cute. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look, should we come around, climb down the ladder with you? Yep. Um, yeah. One last guy. Depending how fast you are moving, if you are uh, moving faster than five feet, um. I will need a check, acrobatics check from you. Acrobatics not athletics? athletics? Yeah, acrobatics, not athletics. I'm moving this slow, uneven, then. This is uneven terrain. I'm also going to be moving slow. slowly. Uh, the cow Nine. is still just like... The cow's just still standing there with the bag on their head. I already moved, so nine. You sure it can't be uh, athletics? Yes, it, it is acrobatics specifically. Oh. If you are oh, moving more great. than five feet per uh, action... Can you I can just step walk no problem. Around these pillars and walk at my normal speed. Further yeah, away you can. From the edge. You can. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Near the lip, you can you can step and you don't have to make a check. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna walk all the way around the long way, and then when I, I get 18. close to the thing, I'll step. Boom. Yeah, same. Um, but but these goblins were trying to uh, stride, and um, you saw how that worked out for them. Almost like they were here to like explain how a mechanic works. <laughs> And fail at it. <laughs> and fail a mechanic. Fascinating. That's okay. They'll be back. Don't worry. The, the goblins? Yes. Are you telling me we got undead goblins now? Are they... Are they say they're undead. They, 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 they kind of... They come back different. A little hungrier for thing? cow flesh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Has this been good for your tribe, having Rip Nugget back? Oh yeah, we we've been doing better. He's like fixing some weird magic stuff. Oh, nice. what? Oh, this, this weird magic really, stuff. Uh, normal. Is, oh fuck. Okay, we passed. Totally it. above board. All right, so give me one moment. The uh, the ambient like wind noise is also fun because it's very windy outside and also have a fan going. It's an oscillating fan. Why the fuck does Makar have so many status effects? I don't. Oh, it's because it was like on his last combat he got like hit with shit, and I just copied <laughs> your token from the previous combat. He's not sick or enfeebled or anything. It's true. How are you going to end up with an Inigo Montoya moment? He killed my father. She's dead! Rip Nugget. Rip Nugget killed your dad. Yeah, he, I, I've always said that he's a 
the, the like, first scene of Rise of the Rune Lords is a bunch of goblins under this guy named Ripped Nugget. Rip, yeah. Attacking the town in the middle of a festival, killing a bunch of. Oh. Okay. So, did it kill Nanner's father or yours? <laughs> Hers. She somehow stuck as uh, the character of all of Nanner's is room. So, it, it's probably been a few uh, raccoon generations <laughs> since uh, that event. It's true. That, Natter's great 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 grandfather was murdered was by Rip Nugget. Very long lived specific raccoon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's one like raccoon's dad. Nanner's is secretly ancient in raccoon years. Mm -hmm. He's almost four. He's pretty old for raccoons. How long do raccoons live? As is canon, uh, everything's three, in case you were curious. At least three. <laughs> yeah, everything is three. <clears throat> Black so, uh, he leads you down. Make it. He leads oh, you down. raccoons li live five years, on average. In well, the wild. Yeah, this one's that includes familiar. infant mortality. That includes infant mortality. The longest surviving wild raccoon lived for 16 years, while a captive raccoon's lifespan can last as long as 21. Raccoons are cute, man. They are cute. They are. And apparently, mod and apparently, about as good at living long as these goblins. Oh, um, speaking of wild animals, there's actually a possum mom in the neighborhood. In real oh, life, I, I or like possums, yeah, in possums. real life, no IRL. Like, I saw the mom the other day with like a bunch of uh, possum babies on her back. Very uh. A turkey mom with a bunch of turkey babies. Gobble gobble. And yeah, yeah. And a whole bunch of little tadpoles. Okay, so we've got one goblin alive. I guess we're gonna slowly go down the ladder. Yep. Give me a. Uh, someone give me a crafting or lore engineering. I will give a crafting. Um, Malabar is also gonna take a look at it. You know, for being goblin engineering, this actually looks kind of good. It's probably not goblin engineering. Can I, uh, can I go up to the goblin that's alive? Yeah. Um, listen. I need to tell you something. Shop at Malabar's. Are you about to kill him? No, no, I literally just wanted to shop at Malabar's. That was it. Okay, because you were being really fucking ominous about it. Well, you we see don't. This banner on this weapon. <laughs> well, I don't have my own money. Everything's shared, so. Mm. <gasps> goblins do communism. Oh, they just yes. <laughs> well, so go so so here's the funny note: uh, Pathfinder kobolds and um, goblins are like proto-communists. <laughs> They're like undead so communists. Alvar is pretty fucking out there with his. The next person you can come down the ladder. Ventures. Uh, yeah, what? the ladder looks fine. There's no check. Um, there is oh, uh, handholds uh, built into ah! the walls over here. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it so slowly. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Azariad. Watch your step. We wouldn't need you to come Thank you. back. Thank you for watching. Have fun. I hope your food is but, delicious. But they, 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 they can they can get you back up, just like my buddies over here. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think... I think we'd like to avoid the necessity and I'll not put into any trouble. Yeah. Alright, how's this ladder? Uh, mm. it looks about the same engineering wise. It looks fine. Uh, Alright, I go down it. Go. They're remarkably well constructed for goblin or for uh, goblin engineering. It's not goblin engineering. The goblins built does it look like goblins built the ladders? Yeah. Weird. Uh, you notice that the like the handholds are like closer together, you know, because they're small. Oh, so me and me and Dav are just fucking crunched up. I'm used to that. I've been using Goblin Pass to get up and down the cliffs for years. You're also tiny. So what? What's down in here? Like it's so foggy, we can't see anything. I prefer petite. So Itty bitty man. Arrive. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize I couldn't. That's nice. Alright, so everyone group up. I need to copy you to the next map. Bring Malabar. 
Let's go. Have some alibis. The goblin says, well, um, I'm on sacrifice duty, so, um, I gotta go do something with the cow. Uh, <laughs> says, That's uh, he, wildly he ominous. Climbs, he climbs back up, and you see him kind of, like, putting his shoulder on the cow, trying to nudge it forward. Oh, no. See, the Everybody. biggest problem the modern goblin has is failures in leadership. Are, are you sure it's not, like, failure in self-preservation? No, they keep failure of intellect. It's fine. They'll make him push cows off a cliff. If we gotta They've introduce these goblins to the level, loading screen. Sixty-six percent fatality rate on this uh, cow pushing exercise. Oh my god! Imagine yeah. how many how if we what would happen if we introduce more goblins to the pig eye at furnace? The what? It's a Soviet Union joke. Don't worry about it. I'm so concerned, Tex. <laughs> Now I just have the image of of of. All right, where it is? Actually, no, it wouldn't be a goblin. It probably Stalin would probably be a hobgoblin. Just that just fits. Stalin would be a hobgoblin, yeah. <laughs> goblin Stalin. Goblin Stalin. Just, you just so many medals. The regular goblins have a hard time with the facial hair. Not goblin I mean, Stalin. I, goblin Stalin saying, is did, powerful. I mean, to be fair, I did. Make, I do literally have a goblin who part of his backstory his he had an alchemical accident which allowed him to grow facial hair. I forgot about him. Yeah, he was adorable. And he was so proud of his mustache. He bought a bob wig to match it. He did. It was purple. Give me one moment. It's glorious. To out. He's a cowboy. So many. It's dark. Well, I don't. You don't have any tokens on this scene yet. So. Well, why not? Because I'm trying to figure out where you arrive, because they don't have this in the right order. Oh, At shit. the entrance. So it's C1, C2, then. What you're saying, Goblin Caves don't have um, distinctively marked exit and entrance signs? Exit their push doors and safety rails? Right there. Apparently I'm a 41-month subscriber to my own channel. channel. So you've been paying yourself money? Maybe that's why I have a weird subscription through AA. I need to talk to PayPal about that. So you right. are now 20 feet down. Yeah, this is Ominous! This is the level we could see from above, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. And you see Is that a door? And you, yes, that is in fact a door. <gasps> a door! Oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't like that. I like how Malabar's you know, in front. That's not Malabar. That's Scoble. Yeah, oh, is Ma Malabar is not. Wait, Malabar is your tail. Okay. Uh, so as though. you do that, I didn't do that in character. That was just me being an asshole. Of... God damn it! Um, you you hear like a third thunk fall down the hole as the third goblin <laughs> tumbles in there. <laughs> oh no! Just a yeah, distance like, no Yes, the cow is ours. <laughs> the cow will wander away before we get back. The cow is gonna wander off. The cow's is there any role we can't see anything? Where's it gonna go? <laughs> All right, there, can I like make an acrobatics to like fucking grab him or some shit? Well, no, they, they were they're on the other side, the north over here. <laughs> Um, goblins just need unions. Swear to God. If we had Goblin OSHA. Every level, right? Yes, you are contractually uh, not obligated. They're paying you for mapping out every level. So we still have the cow, though, right? I no, the cow's know. upstairs. The, the cow is upstairs. You are not taking the cow down the pit with you. But what if we could? Here. What's my animal handling? <gasps> well, oh, what if we do take the cow with us as like an introduction? Because we no longer have the goblins as the introduction. We're like, hey, we brought this for you. How are you getting a cow down the hole, down the ladder? Well, we're strong. Well, I can just fucking pick it up, Sean. Yeah, I'm seven feet tall. Noah, yeah, well, it's a I cow. have a strength of twenty. Noah. It's a, it's a large cow. cow. It has it's like <laughs> twenty bulk. Yeah. Okay. What, what is hang your bulk on. limit, Noah? 
Eight. Technically, nope, 14. Max bulk is 14. Uh, Fuck you. Between me and Dav, we can pick it up. Come on, Dav, let's go get a cow. Are you, how, are to, how are you going to get two of you down the ladder no. with a cow in between the two of you? Magic! Don't ask questions! Bro. Yes, we're going to create a pulley system. We're going to shibari that cow. <laughs> we're going to shibari the cow. <laughs> we're going to spend the next five months here building a pulley for the cow. Yes. <laughs> I we're gonna... feel like having so, an introduction or like an excuse. More candy, more candy. If go. we do it within ten minutes, we can put the cow in the spacious pouch, which has a capacity of twenty-five bulk, and it explicitly says that a living creature placed inside the bag has an in it. Plus, it doesn't sound like Rip, Rip Nugget particularly cares whether the cow is alive. Can we please have the cow? Can we can we take the cow so we can be like, hey? What is the spell? We brought this for you. It's an it's item. Like, it's spacious pouch. Which, it's just a bag of holding. Uh, oh, it's a fucking it's... bag of. The fact that it has rules that say a living creature has enough air for ten minutes implies that you can get one. In... <laughs> what what is the bulk limit on a space? Twenty five. Twenty five. So you could fit an entire cow in there. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. With ten minutes of air. The cow will die, but it's fine. Yeah, but they didn't expect it to live anyways. The cow would have died anyways. Yeah, if it, it would have been dead on impact. Died. Or you could, you know, take the cow back to town. No. No. Because no. here's what. Here's my. Here's or you could. Right? We're like, hey, we uh, your goblins had a little trouble, but they told us what the intent was, so we brought this for you. And no, he's right. Cool. He's right. What time is it? Uh, it is 8.57. It, <laughs> it is the perfect time for me to make a drink. <laughs> <laughs> no We've driven like, the DM to drink! We win! <laughs> Sean, Sean has exited the function. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, right? Like, this is yeah. a good plan. No, it is genuinely a, de a decent plan. plan. We're just being assholes it's a about it. Plan, and it is also a good plan. Bag of holding, and that is it's like a swipe card, but like, 1,500 uh, pounds. It's like a swipe card? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's our, it's our fucking, it's our fucking, it's our past. It's like, hey, this is our so reason I'm for being here. Lame. Cyber security. Which, what are we drinking? By the way, I'm I'm doing the I'm following the goblin instructions by the letter as they were tumbling off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the cow, Sean? Yes, please. Uh... Please, pretty please with a cherry on top and a cow. And a cow. Was it a dairy cow or a meat cow? Give me give me one second. Let me check the space. The cow's only worth about eight gold. We can pay somebody back. <laughs> Sean, desperately trying to find a way to rip cord out of this bit. <laughs> that has turned serious. <laughs> the problem with D&D &D players is that they commit to the bit. Yeah. We have a slack pack for animals in pf 2 we do not include their bulk. So the bulk is actually by size on creatures. So like a large creature takes up a uh, more bulk. Yeah, you said he was 10 bulk. I said 20. Wait. No, 20, you're right. Yeah. It's, it's so, like, picking up another person is 10, 10 bulk. Besides, I, I did make Dilly kind of short, so the idea of the shortest person in the party, other than the actual goblin, Holland Ford, and inside outing. Her okay, okay, I'm, I'm vetoing this. Oh, come on! <laughs> I, I, I double-checked the rules for a spacious pouch. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I already knew there was no way you could fit a cow through the mouth of a bag. It's magic! <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but I knew that was the case. I, I was double-checking the text on a spacious pouch. Though the bag can hold a great amount of material, the object still needs to be able to fit through the opening of the sack to be stored in the Son bag. of a bitch! Whoa, 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 whoa! We could butcher the cow. Let's butcher yeah. the cow! Yeah. Oh, point, let's give Rip point. Nuggets nuggets. Yeah! yeah! Beef nuggets! Let's Beef go. nuggets for Rip Nugget! <laughs> Sean is his head in his hands. I would like to roll survival to butcher the cow. 
I have survival too. I also have survival, it turns out. <laughs> to be fair, this was Dab's original idea as he wanted to eat the cow, so this is not really... Oh, we stop really, for a barbecue. Uh, we stop for a I barbecue. I would just like to apologize in advance for your pouch after this. Uh... <laughs> Sean, how many D10s of sight and damage do you think you've taken from this? <laughs> we can wash it. <laughs> Yeah, 24. The, 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 your GM is brought to you by a simply naked passion fruit limeade. 22. <laughs> Whoever we got a 22, a 22, and... Okay. Fuck. Alright, give me a second. I have to Google how long <laughs> it takes to butcher a fresh Probably cow. a long time, I'm gonna be honest. At least an hour. Because, because, right, because be like, working. I've... I've I've been I've been hunting once, and it took a long time to strip the cat. Not strip been, the I have done. not been hunting, but I have seen OSS Zombie set lost in Rio, and there's an entire joke about butchering an animal and how What's insanely he, long it takes just to put doing yeah, anything. Don't need the whole thing. We just need the so, we just need the pro- yeah, that's true. We don't need the whole thing. According to USDA. Dot gov. Two butchers can process around ten cows per day. That's probably going to be like an hour, assuming an eight-hour shift. Yeah, That's not yeah. too bad. Yeah, so we can take a twenty-four an hour and a twenty-two. We can probably butcher the cow in about an hour. Right? Sure, you can generate eight gold worth of rations. It's beef. beef. Fresh beef. Beefs. Which can easily go in with an egg. Or just carry. We bring the bits to fucking gobbits. What was his name? Actually, if the nuggets nuggets for Rip Nugget. Beef nuggets nuggets. for Rip Nugget. Uh. Wait, Josh, are you wearing a shirt that says Game Master? Oh, yeah, to be fair, uh, my wife gave it to me, so I'm innocent. (laughs) <laughs> you're wearing it to the one game you're not ga- you're not that's GMing. True. That's true. That's true. And also the and also the game with where the GM actually I even won't say that. I I can't I I'm only Before I'm not assuming. Put any beef in the bag. I carefully take out my old loot. <laughs> I need someone to carry it. It's bulky. I can do that. All right. Don't smash it into the side of the wall or whatever. I carefully put it in my backpack. You're probably going to need with chopped up cow. You're probably going to need to retune it once. Um, it's been sitting in the bag of holding. It's going to need tuned anyway. I think. Well, I mean, I mean, because it's sitting in a physical backpack now, and not a bag of holding. Yeah, I I detuned it before I put it in there. You can't count in the air pressure and those things. (laughs) What air? You now have. Everything gets messy. You now have a butchered cow. You may put that in your inventory. It was probably ten bulk worth of meat. This was one of the stupider things we've ever done. It does not yeah. beat now we have an excuse. the time we decided to wait out that alchemist in the basement during Josh's game. Because we were like, oh, he's just going to come out. And then he didn't come out. And then so we opened the door... And the dude was huge. Oh, I remember that. that oh, was and then that was a mess. Table in there. And then I, I drank a bunch of mysterious shit, and then I got to see ghosts. Yep. All right. All right. So I'm excited to give Rip Nugget the nuggets. Let's go. Beef nuggets for Rip Nugget. Who has the highest deception? Are we actually trying to feed Rip Nugget and negotiate with him, or are we pretending to so we can? That's a great question. We'll find out when we get to Rip Nugget. Goes. Yeah, I, I really don't. Know We're just gonna, go. you know, you know, be casual about it. See where it goes. So, uh, are you guys gonna descend deeper? Or are you going to uh, take this doorway? I want to see what's all going on with this doorway. Check out the door. All right, give me one second. I'm copying. So, like, this floor is kind of like the hub. Um, it's kind of like the nexus that everything else is built around. Yeah. Do for this system, do I have to constantly be rolling to see if there are traps using my thievery skill, or do we just assume that I'm as- looking for traps? And if a trap, I, I up, assume I assume you are looking for traps. I'm doing scout. Okay. Yeah, Josh is doing the scout activity. <laughs> okay, too easy. Yeah, no. If he wants you to look for traps, he's going to tell you to roll for it. 
All right. Oh. So you enter a new map. Oh, bye. Okay. Whistle Fang Lair. Don't like that. What a Sounds name. Cool. Sounds like they need to shop at Malabar's. Did I dismiss my 8 o'clock alarm? What do you mean? You don't like Whistle Fang Lair? I need to go take my beds. I'll be right back. Antibiotics suck. All right, and I'm going to stack you back up because this one luckily connects to everything else. Let's go. All right. How do I edit my player name so that it has my character name next to it? Does everyone else manage that somehow? In oh, uh, give me one second. You go management. to edit server profile. Oh, it's. Okay. I don't think it. I don't think it. You don't have server profiles unless you pay for premium, right? No, oh, I'm, I'm not doing that. that. All right, we're good then. In Foundry or in, in Discord. Discord. In, in no, just dis no, totally Discord. You don't have to pay. I don't have premium. Thing. You can edit your server I'm, nickname at any I'm time. I'm not talking about Discord. I'm talking about Foundry. Oh. Just in the I don't line, know. Mine, mine. Mine. I never edited mine. Mine was just put there. User oh, management. Okay. It must be your Discord username is linked to this. No, no it's not. My no, right-click on your name under players and hit user configuration. Oh. In, in in Foundry, it's just how Sean has. Yeah, and since I never told anybody your name, you're just Halix. This is my fault. I need to give uh, ran I need to give hero points because the hero point handler crashed apparently. Again? Oh, no. It's Ooh. worked for one session. But it worked D5, really well. D five. D five. <sighs> Noah and Jennifer get a hero point. Yeah, I've been replaced by. Oh, I'm giving myself one because I had zero. I never had one. Oh yeah, if you didn't if you didn't have any at the start of the session, you would started with one. Oh, yeah. yeah, you always start with one. Yeah, you start with one. I have two hero points. So, the reason why the cap is three is because if uh, someone's doing, being, like, particularly heroic any given session, as well as uh, Pathfinder Society boons, if you GM enough Pathfinder Society games, you actually start uh, your characters with more hero points for uh, running Pathfinder Society. Which is neat. I, I kind of dig that. Is Nanners eating all the beef? Is he eating all the beef? Why does Nanners have all the beef? Nanners is not allowed inside the bag of holding. No, for some reason it won't only put me as Nanners. It won't call me Jennifer. For I know. I, I know it. I know that's what's happening, but I, I wrote it anyway. So. It is funny. Um. Anyway. It is funnier to pretend it's Nanners doing this. Oh wait, it's there you are. The name of Nanners is banana peel with Nanners in quotation marks. If I'm being called Nanners, it's because Sean set it up somewhere. <laughs> is this true? So here's here's the thing. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait, you're Billy now. Yeah. Oh, you made me Billy now. Yeah. Oh, no more jokes. Go. All right, what did you um, just think her character's name was Nanners this whole time? So. Go ahead and adjust, like, you guys can see, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and adjust yourself before opening this door. What's the light level? Um, Probably. dim. It, it's dim. It's late evening. I um, sure. Malabar is probably uh, activating his, um... Oh, I didn't do his daily craft. Oop. There you go. Uh, Noah, does like... Grelka have reach? Yes. Grelka also has okay. a long weapon. Nice. And giant instinct. Well, well you don't get uh, Titan stature till six. Doesn't matter. Can I be there? That's next level. There we go. Um, I need to do Malabar's morning crafting. I'm gonna be closer than Malabar. I have in the. I have. I have my Jean Madal. I have bottled I sunlight still. It's a very long sword. It's. So, here's the thing. 
Um, the kaijutsus are actually uh, the Japanese analog, not Chinese. So that probably would have been a... Um... A nodachi? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I really liked the idea of it being a genre now. Yeah. Right. And you may go ahead and open the door. I liked the way the Chinese version looked better. I did cast the light on my um, flute. Dope. Light. And now what you want to open the door is like... Oh, room. yeah. I don't like the way the door noises are now. They're nice. I like them. They're thematic. It doesn't click. Well, you don't like the custom noises for everything, Noah? I don't like the other door noise. Statues. Well, this one was made specifically for this. What's this dragon stuff? Oh, this uh, All right. Uh, is Billy moving up? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, not trying to do that. There we go. Okay. That's well, enough initiative. for me to give a room description. Don't. You like room yeah. descriptions, right? I really love room descriptions. We know. <laughs> We know, bud. The walls yeah. of this chamber, decorated with dozens of skulls harvested from a wide range of animals. Deer, cows, elk, wolves, horses, and some humans. All the wall-mounted skulls are angled to stare down at the southern entrance to the room. In four alcoves stand taxidermy spiders as big as humans, each posed in a menacing position, while an even larger figure, a taxidermy horse with glittering gemstone eyes, wings made of canvas, and a giant lizard's tail stitched into its hindquarters, and a mouth filled with sharp fangs stands vigil near the double doors. I don't like that. Um, you can give me a... Society... Religion... Robotic lore? Yeah. Bardic Thessalonian lore. lore? Thessalonian lore? No. Oh. It's encrypted. So you can give me, like, society. Um, I am rolling shit today. Oh, there you go. Um, you guys recognize this. Uh, this is a... Uh, someone oh, assembled... The, you get someone, someone assembled the Sandpoint Devil taxidermy. Oh, it's oh, a Jersey okay. Devil. Like a Jersey Devil? Okay. Yep. Sandpoint Devil. Yeah, well, remember, Sandpoint is the New Jersey analog. It, yeah, that is. This, this, I don't know what you talked about. I feel like we've that? definitely talked about this before. I, it might have been I don't think he was here when we did. Alex joined. Yeah. Fuck. Why am I rolling under 10 for everything? Why am I receiving a word text at 10 o'clock at night? Because you joined the army. I don't. This is stupid. But, um, but yeah, they, they assembled a... Uh, Oh, right. like some kind of artist lives here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Vincent Van Gogh, maybe? So okay. these things so, are just inanimate. I guess we just keep going. So, um, the Sandpoint know. Devil itself, let me measure real quick. Uh, that sure uh -oh. is 10 feet. Oh no. So, wait, it lurches wait, forward. Wait. Okay. Opens its yeah. jaws, and emotes a blood curdling howl and a blast of foul smelling gray smoke. Uh. I need everyone in a 30 foot cone south of the trap to give me a fortitude save. Give me one second. Good thing I'm good at moving forward to make sure I was in your cute little trap. Yeah. Fuck me. Well, because I assume you guys were stacking up on the door. Okay, so well, we didn't even get the didn't okay. move, so he's still... You can give me a... Where is it? If you've already rolled, don't click that. Okay. Yeah, I'm Success. not clicking it. Success. <laughs> um, those of you who failed, which is Grelka and Dagger, you were enfeebled <laughs> one for an hour. Oh, come on! What does Enfeeble do? Did Scoville roll it? Did Scoville roll it? Scoville. Uh, 30 feet? Oh, yeah. Oh, what does Enfeeble do? 30, you, it, minus one to strength based checks, including attack rolls. Oh, Malabar oh, skates yeah. away. Oh, great. Oh, shit. So, the ones who succeeded are the ones who aren't using. Wait. 
Yourself. Wait, First. what? Oh, it's enfeebled. Damn it. I have a thing against frightened and sickened, but you had to go with enfeebled. I, I didn't write this. Thing. I have, I have, wait, would this count as a trap? Yes. Okay, then I'm applying wary disarmament. What does that do? What is that? Wary disarmament is one of my feats from Rogue Archetype. Actually, not wary disarmament, it would be trap finder. What does it do? Actually, no, shit, neither of them would apply. I take it back. That, those are those are both to disabling, not saves. So yeah, yeah, that yeah, those are yeah. The trap finder is against is AC and weird disarmament is is saved, but only against a trap that I've accidentally triggered while trying to disarm it. You know, that may come in handy. Broke, uh, I will hero point this. I mean, there of all the go. people in the party, you, I think you're probably the best one to be enfeebled to. Doesn't really bother me any. Grelka, Dagger. I'm gonna hear Everyone else yeah, saved. Sure we got an hour left. I'm going to hero point this. You may remove the enfeebled from yourself. Yay! You can go to the conditions tab on your sheet and just remove it. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and reveal. Oh, or I can just go up to the corner and right-click it. That a giant bear trap. So, um, a bear trap that has one... also been enfeebled. Well, no, that's just the trap icon. It has the enfeebled effect on it. I don't. Why is why is this enfeebled? You you can't. You can enfeeble a trap, everybody! Nice. Honestly, I don't care. It doesn't modify any of the numbers because it doesn't scale off anything. It's just written that way. Uh, Scoble. Scoble, you want You can that. attempt... Um, you can... So, you guys saw the activation. You saw the eyes glow. Uh, the, they're mm -hmm. gemstone eyes before it went off. A thievery check may be able to dislodge it. Oh, let's go! Dagger's Dagger actually pretty good at those, right? Yes. Uh, He's our scout or athletics to like just like wrangle the entire head off. Oh yeah, no, you remove the eyes. Let's go. Just fucking pluck them out. And yeah. you've defeated the trap. Good that job. was easy. I gemstones. I I. Let's stash them. Ah, get it. They're Scoop expensive out gemstones too. They're fifty they fifty gold a pop. Could That's be. a lot of this. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. I thought um, I'd been there. Scoville. Yeah. You stepped into the spider alcove, correct? Into? Well, next to it. Next to it. Uh, you hear a clicking beneath your feet. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> As this triggers. Can I go back to the room and search for any more traps after he deals with this? After this, I'm definitely going to be searching for traps. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the right side, you take the left side. I did, I, I will know, I will have you know, I rolled your perception check to make sure that you wouldn't have stepped on it if you saw it. I rolled really badly on my search check, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Damn. Um, give me a... Oh, oh wow, actually... Give me... Oh, that's not the devil's... That's, that's the wrong trap. Uh... What trap do I trigger? Let's see. Let's give, me, give me this text. Sticky greeter? Fortunately, does trap find it? I forget. Does traveler actually apply to saves or only AC? No, only. I'm pretty sure it's only AC. I mean, why does it keep acts settings like, oh, when I click the reflex save, it always acts? Trap finder, um, you gain a perception checks, find traps, AC made by tracks. Oh, yeah, no, it applies to saves. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was the one e trap fight. Oh, oh yeah, no, you. Uh... Let's go, Pepperman for the win. So uh, you dodge. You see it lurch forward and shoot some webbing out at you. Full flip. Okay. No one um, can go next to those spiders. So uh, you guys can uh, see the pressure plate uh, laid out beneath or in front of each of the spiders. 
Got it. Can I try to disable the one on the opposite effect? Yeah. Go ahead. It's a, a thievery check. Let's go. Nice. All right. You're able to disable the rest of them, no problem. All right. Yeah, between the two, we both have really pretty good thievery, so I'm just slowly working your way through them. Yeah, I'm just working my way along. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh I was looking God. forward to hitting you guys with this trap room. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. Why am I not moving my character? What's going on? Game's, paused. Game's paused. Oh, that would definitely do that. Door okay. stuck. Is it safe? Can we come in now? Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as you can tell, all the traps have been disabled. Right. Yeah. Well, Bobby, turn this shit off. You want to come in? If you oh, insist. Okay. It's less windy than out there. It's fucking windy. Does it still smell like rot? Uh, yes. Nice. It kind of lingers throughout everything. You can smell probably some burning flesh as well. Oh, dope. Is that a door in the corner? Like cooking or burning flesh? All right. Like Give me one something? second. I need a perception check from all of you. Uh oh. Okay. Not ominous. Where's my perception? Right. Perception. There it is. Right? Oh, hang on. I'm figuring this out. No, hang on. So it's like initiative, basically, right? Wait, it's not. So, you guys notice a secret door past the sticky greeter that, um... Scoville triggered. Oh. It's a door! I'm not going to click on it because I don't like the upsetting door noises you went with. Um, so, <laughs> uh, go to the door. They really wanted secret stuff on the map. Yeah. Got it. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Um, I'm going to stick out in case anything sticky well, happens. Lick the wall! There's lead in the paint! But, um... <laughs> But yeah, you guys notice a secret Iska, door. What are you doing to... here? You guys my cat. It's my cat. Right here, where Scoville is, or right. was. I'm gonna carefully step over where the plate was. How do you roll perception again? Uh, it's on the left side ribbon on your sheet. It's just yeah. there's perception. no active. There's an. Yeah. It. That's there's initiative above, it. above initiative. There is perception. It's because some things give oh, you bonuses to initiative, okay, not it. bonuses to perception. Okay. I see it. All right. I'm going to try I'm and I'm gonna see if I can open this secret time, door. This is why you have anxiety. Door? Of course you should. Every, right everyone, yeah, everyone stand back. Just might go back. That's is everyone? All right, I'm going to stand yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. Step so, one, check for traps. One second. Step two, die. Doesn't appear to be trapped. All right. Did, oh, did you roll my check? For... No. Since we're not trying to be sneaky or anything, I am playing my loot the whole time. Nice. <laughs> yep, no traps. Appears to be unlocked. All right, I'm gonna. Are you guys change. going to stock up on the secret door here? Or are you going to try and go north? Yeah. Well, I got out of the way secret of door. The secret door. Secret tunnel. I pull out. I I just kind of gingerly yeah. nudge it open with the butt of my shovel. God, that's so a dramatic so ass door. Dramatic, yeah. So, oh shit, there's a goblin. There's a fucking. There's guy a guy here. in here. So He's you a see, pose. God damn. You see this He's goblin. Crazy. Damn, he's doing a whole thing. Look at those shoes. He's got heels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this man's fancy. Oh, he's got this he's got stuff. fucking riz. How this use musty that? smelling workshop features a long workbench covered with animal parts and a cluttered wooden shelf to the west. <laughs> Several barrels and crates to the south, and a ratty looking pile of furs to the north. A wood carving of some sort of overly muscular goblins looms over the furs, while oh, a lever gay. sticks out of the eastern wall between below the gar uh, carving. One second. Oh, he's I a gay. Uh, he's a gay goblin. Gay. I he might just uh, like muscular uh, goblins. Be is, it, is it aspirational? Uh. uh I see their sheet says female goblin. Damn it. Ah, so they're a straight goblin who likes muscular goblins. I mean, I can't fault them, really. 
It does explain the style. I want those oh, boots. That's why you thought they were gay. I want those boots. Alright. So we gonna say hi to them? Mrs. Give me one Luke, second. Or... I mean, yeah, I'm gonna call out to them in Goblin, but I was waiting until Sean was ready for my bullshit. <laughs> Well, I mean, Scoble's the one in front, and Grog yeah, is like leaning like, over him, like, sort out, be like, like "Hi." He's like, "Hey." Long Shanks, how'd you find me? Scoble's not uh, a Long Shanks. Scoble's that distinctly short shanked. No, they see the Grelka and the Knoll behind them. Oh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm blocking the Knoll. The Grelka. Hey. Sure uh, they're great Knolls. I think they're like I have a great huge, knoll. huge. How big are you? Yeah. I actually did not research past the fact it said bigger knoll. So. The grassy knoll? I don't actually know. Uh, they're well, between you got... seven and eight feet tall. Okay, so uh, we're at the same height. Problem solved. Fuck you! I did say I was a large knoll. What? Um. Excuse me. Like, I now, what, what, what do you want? I'd say we're just curious what's behind this door. I... <laughs> this, this is where my great work is done. Will you show us? In exchange for some beef? Beef? Sure. We have beef. We got the beef. I give him like, like a quarter meat. pound worth of beef. So uh, you see... Um, so so a quarter you pound of in, beef? You see... <laughs> a bear. You see... No. It's a megalic megalictus. A what? I know. It's what adorable. That is. Do I know what that is? There, uh, there. Ah, uh, this, this is, this is my pet. His name's Sausage. I love He's him. Beautiful. He's beautiful. I've seen these things before. Hello, Hello Sausage. All right. Um. So, uh, so, it, so this probably in other games would probably be called a uh, a, a dire weasel. <gasps> nice. I love that. Hey there, sausage. Is the dire Why is everything you say grimdark or seductive? <laughs> it's the only modes you... I have. Sausage. I'm sorry, Josh, you cannot say hey there, sausage, in that voice and not make it sound badly seductive. Assuming you, like, <laughs> hand them a piece of meat, um, they're going to feed it, they're gonna, like, throw it down the hallway to feed, uh, sausage. Yeah, Here, yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna I'm, enough to affect the bulk, I just give him, like, a hamburger. <laughs> Look how Shop. cute that is, though. It is very cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm He's gonna eat. They, they, they do. You, you can, you feel like it's probably just an animal companion and not an intelligent familiar. Uh, they, they, they do do the wave though that they're doing. That that is a beautiful animal. I didn't catch a name. Sausage. Uh, my my name or their name. My name's Tunch. Your name is a group. My name, I am Tunch. I Hi, am Tunch. The of anatomy. I love Tunch and I love sausage. I know. They're my favorites. Um. Oh. Um. What are you have long shanks doing here? Exploring. Uh, we we brought some nuggets for um yeah, we're great. the nugget. For the great nugget, yeah. We're bringing nuggets to the great nugget. But you know, oh, no. we gotta pay our respects. Mm-hmm. Ugh. The rip nugget has everyone else around here scared. Um. They also have like a weird witch with them. Um, but she's like a mind controller. She'll talk to you, and then you just don't remember anything for the next week. So, so... Interesting. Unlike the sick Is the witch also a goblin? Walking around with a cow upstairs. You're not necessarily so keen on Rip Nugget being around here? 
Mm. Goblins go missing, goblins come back. It's... I don't like it. I agree. I mean, any leader of they... goblin tribe should have it be protecting all the goblins, right? Indeed. But we've got... <clears throat> we've got problems of our own down here. Would you, would you like some more beef? What's up? What's, what's going on? I mean, most of us may have longer shanks than the average goblin, but we are sympathetic people. Maybe we could do you a favor. And this is, of course, all in flawless goblin. Yeah. I'll tell you. Say... Sorry. I'll tell you what. I won't oppose your progress here at all. My ex, <clears throat> the 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 witch, he's been <clears throat> trying to build a, a living taxidermy. That sounds unreliable at best. Well, it's under Rip Nugget's control, and the two seem to be inseparable. The Witcher Goblin? Yes. It's my me? ex. Okay. People have diverse flavors. Look, Let's sweetheart, see. you can do better. You think? I've been told the ones around the goblins around Sandpoint are pretty okay. Oh my god, I could get you an introduction down the beach? I know a fairly dashing pepper farmer. You know, I, I could use a new location. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Help yourself to the remains of my workshop. I'll wait up top. Um, I assume you cleared the way here. Were those goblins doing the sacrifice still? Yeah, they did a sacrifice. They did one, but it was of the self variety. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Rip Nugget wanted a cow. They tried to get the cow, but they all fell off the cliff trying to get the cow down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the third time this week. <laughs> Are they just trying to steal the same cow over and over again? Uh, well, well, not anymore. Sometimes, um, there's some bones down there. Oh God! <laughs> I just looked at what's in the. Room. This is now it's in our party loot. I pulled it up. I... This is Isn't a masterpiece. It... Thank you. I take my craft very seriously. You're just gonna that, let it have this? You know, <laughs> the first thing I said when I walked in here was an artist lives here, and I was not. It wrong. is true, yeah. <laughs> he did. Thank you. That's what he said. Well, me and Sausage are going to go above ground. Do you have a... Are you guys going to be here for the long haul? Should I, like, trek there myself, or should I wait for you guys? Uh, I think we'll probably be coming in and out, but I don't know how that would be. Um, I... Can, I give her, can I give her the name of a, a goblin I know down the beach? Oh yeah, um, th this this one this one seems fairly intelligent. Seems would have been able to follow instructions, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally give her the name and, and where to find my like goblin mom. Okay, I will let you know something. I think the rest of the goblins here have been enthralled by the witch. Mm. Um, I don't okay. think they might be as talkative as I. Well, because touch is cooler than everybody else. Features or layouts or potential pitfalls of this area that we should be on the lookout for. I love how much more tactical you are about this than everybody else in the yeah. party. They're like, they hey, important. what does the landscape look like? We're just like, what's the gossip? So, <laughs> well, yeah, there's... the gossip is cool, but I am enfeebled, and I'd like to avoid that in the future. I want to Not too late. As so... a native, I feel like if we're relocating you, you could let us know about your current location. So, I, I think it's a good thing to ask because we don't want to mess with any. If we're gonna take this witch down a peg or two, we don't want to mess with anybody else. We want to control their faculty. You know what I mean? 
So I will say, um, the they seem to have cordoned away like a giant thing they called Cruncher um, oh. to the north. Oh, joy! All right, all right, all right. Mm. right. Um, we've we've lost a good number of our goblins to uh, Cruncher. Um, you can probably guess what they do. Crunch. They they do they do like the hand motion for like teeth closing down. <laughs> the alligator are thing. These goblins are they like just walking into it or is it actually like killing them? Well, from what I saw before walking into it would not surprise me. Well, um, Rip Nugget will tell some of us to try and retrieve some items out from over there. So they are walking into it. <laughs> I did not say otherwise. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, you know, if there is one immutable goblin law, it's that if the guy on top of you is not doing his job and you can take him down, you take him down. Indeed, but the last person who took him down... Um, put on his armor and um, oh, no. became Rip Nugget. Oh. So it turns out Rip Nugget is the armor. <laughs> or give me a religion checks. Yeah, I'm gonna do a lore. Lore, yeah, Bardic lore. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm sure you guys. Uh, yeah, Rip Nugget's a grave knight. Um, I think we yeah we already. I have not rolled. Above a 10. All session. Probably Except for the one time. No, I still rolled low. I just got the fucking plus 10 for a low re-roll. Oh, I, I wanna, um... Take off your boots, get out whatever's in there, and then you... I wanna talk to the goblin. Take some Tylenol, you'll be okay. So, you? since it looks like you're gonna be going back to Sandpoint, um, I did have something important to tell you. And I'm gonna Malibars. take my spear, hold it up, and say, "Yeah, the Malabars." Uh, you see yeah. Malabar behind you, giving you a giant thumbs up. This is why he follows us around, and he's you. We're under contract. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. They're under contract because uh, Jennifer took hireling manager, and I was like, "You could just get an NPC, but I think it'd be funnier to use an NPC I already had in the area." And then yeah. because I, my character is made up of like a 90% pure, pure bullshit, instead of paying him, we offered him advertising. <laughs> you still haven't given him that jingle that you promised him last week. Merchandising. Oh no, I got distracted on the jingle. I gotta <laughs> um, but I will say, um, any other goblins probably won't be as talkative as me. Not that I have any particular fondness to any of them. They're all uh, kind of not great. Maybe I can find myself a muscly goblin once I get back to Sandpoint. Yeah, so it sounded like, uh, from what I heard, they might be um, uh, dead, but uh, moving around. <laughs> so that was my concern. It's a little hard to fuck a dead goblin, yeah. Uh, or have a relationship uh, with oh, one. Oh, one more thing. Um, I haven't seen Rip Nugget in a while, but they also don't really come this way. They've been mostly putting themselves at some sort of, like, temple thing far to the north of here. So we got Cruncher and Rip Nugget to the north. Uh, Cruncher's, you can, there's there's a connecting room between the two of them. Okay. Are they on this floor? Yes. Nice. And, uh, now I'm gonna go before someone comes investigate the traps you triggered. You've been very helpful, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Quite a thank um, you for your time. You see, yeah, I wish you, you could see, have better life. And you see Tunch and <laughs> Sausage make their exits. I love what them. I hope we meet them again. What What an yes. excellent name for a fucking dire weasel. Right, Sausage. I mean, look for clues. Invaluable resources. No, you Did you not see what, what they... Can oh, you yeah, read we got the weasel bat nonsense. You're right. <laughs> the taxidermy they were working <laughs> <laughs> Dab eagerly that, grabbed the artwork. Taxidermy. That thing is worth 45 gold, okay? I, I don't know who's buying that, that, but there's a demand. Oh, Some fucking collectors with taste, <laughs> motherfucker. Wait, 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 Bro, goblin can hit it, yeah. gold. There is a buyer. Yeah, this, this goblin is a respected artist. 
Yeah. Can we take the trap they made too? The taxidermy devil? What was it? The sandpoint devil? Yeah, it's 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 fixed in place. You guys did take the eyes out, which yeah. is probably the most expensive part of it. Dope. All right, let's explore. Yeah, let's explore. If if we successfully clear this place, we come back with a saw and we take the devil. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We've got a bag of folding. We could make it work. We could IKEA that shit into like parts and then reassemble. And <laughs> anything in this dead end. All right. That's not a dead um, end. That's a passage. You guys, you guys see a, yeah. Well, this is originally a secret door, but it's not going to be secret from inside the secret passage. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh huh? it's another entrance. Malibai, you keep the next you keep room. the map. All right. All right. Count on me. Um. Secret tunnel. Might be a bit tight, um, so I'm gonna stick back for a while. Oh, what? Yeah, you can, can run in the back. Right? The yeah, you can rotate. All right. Well, I was trying to. Uh, I assume you open thing. the secret door. Yeah, How do you I'll, rotate? I'll, I'll open it. Safe assumption. You control. Bah! You... <laughs> <laughs> I love that door. The secret door. The stone. It door scares noise. me every fucking time. Yeah. Rocks fall, everyone dies. That's what the noise sounds like. It does. It sounds like an Indiana Jones door. My favorite part of that noise is Noah going ah. <laughs> I'm easily startled. Leave me alone. All right, give me one moment. There's some text as you enter the area. Let's go. I'm listening. D three, D six. The rough stone walls of this huge room are decorated with a mix of bones, broken weapons, tattered tapestries, and bits of junk. To the north, a charred and very dead goblin sits slumped on a partially burned wooden throne. A cave opening to the west of the throne opens into darkness. Several bloody spears lean against the wall near the opening. Gross. Hygienic. And... You know, uh, these guys don't look particularly happy, and they have an eerie uh, purple glow in their eyes. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Don't like that either. You know what that means? They're possessed? Initiative? Yes, it does mean initiative. We're going to give that one too. today. Yay. After so not having that. any last session either. On my gaming. Last session, we just rolled super well. Yeah, we, we rolled so well, we yeah, avoided combat. Oh, the shadows are moving. Toggle combat. Toggle combat. Fuck me! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dice hate me. Um, if I was... Oh, yeah. <gasps> Sean... All right, I am the first is first. Let's go. As we've been wandering through the caves, can I do initiative on before? You may. Give me a second. Because I rolled a three. That was sweet. I'm after Billy. That's what I want. Billy has the good stuff, the buffs. The buffs. Billy's get the buffs. Actually, I think that should be plus one, because I think with, um, I get a plus one to performance checks with, uh, Nana's around. So it's going to be, we're going to be beginning encounter. Dagger, it is your turn. Ah, fuck. Okay. Which one's my icon? There it is. So can I walk through spaces where other yes, people can, are? Yes, you can walk through it? allies, not through enemy spaces. Is that an enemy directly that I can see there? It, it That's the is. thing. Can I shoot um, that enemy from right here? Or is that a friend? Um... You'll take you'll take a penalty from uh, shooting your was it short bow? Yeah, I was about to say enemies are uh, are squared well, in. Here's the thing: red. You can shoot. The thing is, you um, penalties my, of the same type don't stack. Okay. So, like, if you got minus two for every square you're shooting through, you only take minus two because circumstance penalty. Um, you may uh, attack if you want. Um, how familiar, did you, did you figure out how this combat work, how combat here works? I'm assuming I just try to shoot him. So you have three actions you can spend every turn. Okay. Um, let me check your abilities. Okay. So well, you have, need to be... Go ahead, so you have hunted shot. 
So what you oh, oh, that's blind GM public. So you have the two things. The way Ranger works is you have mm -hmm. a edge that you apply when you um, uh, see or hunt prey any given target. So what you can do is you can select a target and then get bonuses from firing at them. Because you are precision edge, every time you fire at your hunted target and it hits, the first time each round, you get a uh, extra D8 damage on the damage roll. Okay, so every time, so if I say I choose that goblin that's just around the corner, yep. every so what time you can I do... hit him, I do extra damage. Well, the first time each turn you hit him, you deal an extra D8. Okay. So, um... And is this a you... veritable action, or is this usable? It's, so that's it's one action to hunt prey. And out of your three okay. actions a turn. I understand what you're saying. So I utilize hunt prey, and yep. then I utilize hunted shot twice, technically. So you can only hunt it shot once because it is a flourish. So it's a hunt prey, hunted shot, hunt shot, and, and then, then you have a. Th or you could uh, alternatively, you can actually move into the area. You do know Scovel's moving after you, and you'd probably have more allies in the area. Mm -hmm. So you could move in if you want to clear a shot because you're going to be taking penalties from shooting through your ally squares. Okay. Well. So so you could. For example, move out here and then select, you know, like the commander. So rangers are kind of like assassin and then they like focusing one target. Right, but that's an enemy right in the door, so I'd be walking past an enemy to get there. No, no. That no. Yeah. That's, 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 Dav. that's me. That's Dav. That's, that's... Oh, I could just see the corner. I'm your buddy. Tell, I can't tell what yeah. color the highlights so you can, are. So, so, you can, so you can spend awesome. one action. Yeah, I'll do that. You can spend one action to stride, which moves up to your one, speed. Two, three. Which is what five. is your speed? Your speed is twenty five feet. So if you can spend one action to move twenty five feet. Got it. Attempted action collides with at least one wall. Oh okay. uh, you so got around the go. corner. Three. Four. That's twenty feet. Twenty five okay. feet. Okay. And then I attack. You can oh, hunt prey. Okay. We're figuring this out. Okay, cool. So then do I have to select hunt prey as an action and select an eye? Uh, yep, enemy? and then you would select a target. Okay, so how do we do that? Pick well, you'd... there is no like module for it. Okay. You would you would just say which one you're targeting. Dope. You said there's um, a commander. I can't read... So there's two, there's two of them that are don't look like the normal ones. There's this one over here who looks more mage -y, and then this guy with a short bow. Ah, oh, we're killing mage. All right, I'm gonna hunt the so, mage, and then I'm gonna shoot so the mage. So what you're gonna do is on the left. Mm -hmm. Do you see where it has like a bullseye icon? Yes. You can select that and then select a target. You are, you are now going to be attacking them now that they're selected. Okay. So. And then when I click to roll, it'll roll. So for that. what you would do is you would go to actions on uh, the second tab of your character sheet. There? Yep. First attack on hunted prey this round. Target is hunted prey. Hunter's aim. Turn all three of those on. So many bonuses. Hunted shot and hunted. No, 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 no. Hunted. Sh so, do you see your actions where it shows like your weapons and all that? Yes, and you scroll below and it has hunt, prey, hunted oh. shot. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, first, hunter. So, okay, target first attack is your hunted prey. Is first oh, attack on hunted prey. This... check marks. Yes. Target is your hunted prey. First attack on hunted prey. And then hunter's aim. Dope. Well, no, no, not not Hunter's Aim. Hunter's Aim is a separate action. There you go. So yeah, you would, uh, and then I want to utilize, which is yep. my short bow. Yep. Mission so you would select them. So because Hunted Shot allows you to attack twice, you'd place, click one at the plus fourteen, one at the plus nine, because every time you attack in a turn, you get more penalties from attacking. So your first is going to be a plus fourteen. All right, so that one, that first arrow connects. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, in the chat box, you should see where it says damage. I see what's going on. Roll. 
That should have also rolled your precision D8. Yes, it did. It did. So, and then you hit the war chanter. Damage. Let's go. And then, yep. Go ahead and fire at your uh, plus nine, because. Uh, okay, we're figuring this out. That one goes wide. Boo. All right. I figured this shit out. Awesome. All right. That is your first turn. Scoville. Yeah. First action, I'm going to start moving. One, two, three, four, 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 four five. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna. You know what? I'll do it here. Yeah. First action and second action is going to be activating kinetic aura and in the process activating hardwood armor. Yep. Da, da, da. Yeah, hardwood armor is activated. As, <laughs> as I. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I literally just made my kinetic or, or retail my kinetic order macro into the henshin button. Because <laughs> that's basically what it is. Yeah. As you, as I think this is, this is Dagger's first time seeing me activate my powers, isn't it? This is first time yes. seeing any of us in combat. Fair enough. Yeah. Dagger, you would see basic Scoville just kind of like spin this like circular like this circular disc on his belt and this and this aura of fire wind and like wooden splinters erupts around him as he becomes in as a suit of wooden armor like rapidly grows onto him oh you're and a world for... of warcraft goblin <laughs> i forgot you used to play that yeah uh, and for my final really action cool. i'm just gonna fire a kinetic blast a one action kinetic blast at this near death at this near death goblin up here. Is it near death? Cool. Yeah, they are near death. We they you have the Baldur's Gate style uh, HP estimates. And and as part of it, I'm going to give do what I usually do and activate activate weapon infusion. How oh, far away is this guy? Drone probably. Is within twenty. Yep, just within twenty feet. Perfect. Eight, five, ten. 20. I can move twenty foot. Yeah, this is stupid. Foot. And I'm going to do the a light. I'm going to do my first time doing an air. And because this is my first time with fighting with an arrow, I'm going to do a I'm do my do a lightning blast. Crit. Oh boy. Roll your critical damage. Nice. As be and as you see, Scoville just cock his arm back as a as a literal lightning spear manifests in his arms and he just chucks it. That's badass. Ooh. That one gets thrown about five feet backwards before collapsing. Oop. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. oh god. Uh, you just threw Scoville backwards. And also... <laughs> hmm? 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 Wait a second. I accidentally did dealt that damage to you. Yeah. All right. No, we so need that one. one. Is that? The War Chanter? The yeah, the War Chanter right here. The one that's near death. Yep. And Nearer they're next? throwing about five feet back with that... Uh, Their body ragdolls. Yeah, lightning spear. The body yeah, just fucking ragdolls backwards. He tails them and crackles outward as he's thrown yeah. backwards in front of the uh, throne. Hell yeah. And that is the end of my turn. It well is done. This goblin's turn. Very dramatic. Kill them all! Kill the long shanks. They're just jealous. Uh, this, shanks. this one's going to run to here. Uh -oh. He's going to strike at Dagger with his horse chopper. 
very evocative name of a weapon. Goblins are very direct. <laughs> Miss, let's go. And they're going to swing again. Swoop out of the way. And nice. that's that one's turn. It is this one's turn. Do horse choppers sound cool? Um, yeah, their 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 iconic weapons are horse choppers and dog slicers. <laughs> he should come out with me with a dog slicer. They don't like they don't they don't like horses or dogs. No, that chanter was my favorite. They're going to take <laughs> aim at the now uh, in wooded um, goblin, and they're going to fire their arrow at you. Oh, no, actually, they're going to hunt prey. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you found a cousin. Gurlunk? Interesting. What? And he is actually a precision ranger. Ooh. What a coincidence. Nope. They're going to do... They're going to do something that ranger doesn't get. They're going to do a disorientating shot. Ooh. So they're gonna they're gonna strike um, Serrano twice. If both hit, uh, you're gonna make a save or become off guard until the start of your next turn. Serrano. Oh, the name. The person. Oh come on! Can I have anything here? No. no. The sun is a deadly laser. Who's Serrano? Dang it. That's goable. <laughs> yeah, I that. did. Yeah, I apologize for me being a nerd. Why would you apologize? This... He's not sorry. I'm this not. Goblin Reader, sees... he is not sorry. This goblin sees an opening. They're going to run at Serrano and strike themselves. Nope, right here. They're going to swing their horse chopper. That does hit. For six damage. And natural one. Oof. Billy's turn. That was such an ominous die. All right, all right, all right, all right. Billy is going. Nana's is like. Why am I utilizing unarmed as opposed to any of my weapons? Do what? It's just uh, trying to figure out why my weapons aren't like working for you. Nothing. Well, it's no, because it's... Uh, it's because they actually handle uh, wielded weapons here in the system. Okay. So, like, you can only have like one weapon wielded at a time. If you draw a second weapon with your bow out, you cannot fire your bow. Okay. Even though, yeah. like, the Tekokagi is technically wielded at all times. Oh, it should work. Hold on, let me look at your sheet. No, you can. That works. It just populated. That was weird. Okay. Well, it's because it's well, because as, I hit as long as it I, works now. I hit the draw icon. You you oh, uh, cheese draw. Oh, I see. You. Okay, I didn't understand what that meant. Okay, cool. Thank it, you. Sorry about that. Yeah, but like the, the those are freehand weapons. You can have those on at all times. Okay, all right. I'm going to lingering composition, courageous anthem. So let me do a performance check. S level target of your composition. So it's DC by level four? With a plus one from Nana's. Oh, it's DC by level five. Yeah, so it's a DC five. 20. Nailed it. Uh, that lasts, uh, what is it? Three rounds. All right. So I got lingering composition, and then so that puts. Rages and there. Let me put my emanation out. Anybody within 60 feet of here can. 
Woo. Plus one to attack roll, damage roll, and saves against fear. For three I rounds. have one action left. I want to look at Gorlak. I, I don't have a one action spell. So I'm going to take a look at Gorlak and with Bardic Lore try to decide what I think he's good at. Yep, go ahead and hit the call knowledge macro. Where's, where's the... How do I find that, John? Um, it should be... So if you go into the compendium packs, the second to last tab on the right... Yeah. You should be able to type in recall knowledge in the search, and then there should be one for uh, the Simon provided macros. Second, I'm going to see if I can post in chat. You can drag this to your hotbar. And then okay. you can target and then cast. Alrighty, ready, ready, ready. All right, all right, all right. Target. Big guy. And then... Click the macro. It's not working. Oh. Hold up. Billy. Target. Oh, nope, it worked. Oh, that's Devor. Oh, no, I, I pressed it just to see Billy. if it worked. Target macro. That should have worked. It's not working. I'm like double clicking on it. I've got it's. I can see it there in my on my hot bar, but I can't get it to actually run. Oh, we'll worry about that later. Um, it rolled for me, so that is a normal success. What do you want to know? Save. Lowest save. Lowest save is going to be their fortitude. As, you know, usual for goblins. <laughs> Alright. They have a habit of getting themselves killed, you know. Fortitude is <laughs> always easy to kill. Go for it, Dav. Alright, Relka. I'm going to use a uh, sudden charge. Oh, remember to give yourself the courageous anthem. Yep, give yourself the anthem. Yeah, yeah. How do I do that? Scroll up in chat, and then. Ah, there. yes. Hey, I did it. Oh, I also need a rage. Um. It, so I'm gonna go ahead and it says free action now, as of the remaster of the second the player core two that's not out yet. You can go ahead and rage. It's a free action. Okay. Cool. I am Rage. Everybody else has it. Oh, yep. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna... So that doesn't take an action. You want me to go for the guy in front of Dagger or this guy over in the... I can handle the guy in front of me. Okay. Wait, Scoville, do you need help? Because I didn't see that guy. I I got this, don't worry. They're, right, I'm they're, gonna go they're they're incredibly weak goblins. I would not worry. I'm gonna go for this guy. Uh oh, my bad. Um Target. Strike. Yay. Yeah. Okay. As always, I roll like shit. I don't think it's getting the, um, right. the rounds remaining right on the spell effect for Courageous Anthem. You have to, you can adjust Yeah, you're that. probably going to have to re- Okay, that hits. Ouch. This one's about to fall. And you've got one action left. Good thing I've got another map. Fuck! This one... You swing wide, and this one kind of ducks below the blade as it's swinging. I'm too tall! <laughs> Devor. <laughs> okay, so, um, are you guys okay with these ones, like, right up next to you? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go... 
can I can I do this? So I'm trying to. There is a rock pillar is. right there. My speed is twenty, right? I think. Uh, yes. In yeah, twenty. Are you in full plate? Yeah. 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 One two. One two three. No, I don't think I. I can't move here because it's two diagonals, right? So that'd be twenty-five. Oh. Five. Ten. Yes. Um. No, also, twenty. Five, ten, twenty. Yeah. Five, ten, twenty. Twenty. Okay. So these two guys are in sweep. To a swipe. Yes, sweep. they are. Yep. So go ahead and. Yeah, I'm going to do a swipe. Targeting both of them. I don't know if I can. Okay, there we go. Attack, and I get sweep bonus. Yep. Let's go. Oh, dear. oh yeah. <laughs> Just That's fighter things. About. Just Fire fucking things. murder him. That man goes to mist. Beautiful. Time to shop at Malabar's. Oh, wait. Oop, oop. Nope, nope. I'm not rolling damage. You roll the damage. Roll the critical damage. All right, here we go. Shop at Malabar's. Hey, shop miss. It. Not the best damage. Would it like yours better? You, should, you just oh. need to name your weapon shop at Malabar's. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Malabar's I get to move light. both of them. So, Ouch. this... You okay, nice. murdered the commando. Um, Gorlunk barely... Dodge is like so. You're, I imagine you're like sweeping across from like right to left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you catch the commando bisecting that one, and oh, as the sweep continues, Gorlunk barely dodges out of the way from a killing blow. Okay, but as he dodges, I'm going to kind of like hook him with my foul shard and move him here yep. for my critical specialization. And that's it. I'm done. One. One second. Uh, I thought they had something uh -oh. for that. Okay. All right. It is this commando's turn. One second. <laughs> uh -oh. This one with their <laughs> dog slicer has reach. And they're going to try and impale you, Dev. Go for it. Got this. I have faith in you. I don't. Never head. mind. I lied. I had no faith oh, horse, in you. Horse chopper. I was like, dog slicer has reach? Horse chopper. Okay. <laughs> Didn't I say horse chopper? No, no, you said dog slicer. You oh, said dog slicer. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see like a giant grin on their face as they try to stab you again? Ha <laughs> ha <And>, ha. <laughs> and again. Fucking idiot. Shooting for the moon here. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Negative 23. Alright, dagger. All right, so I'm fucking taking down Pipsqueak next to me, right? Yep, he's right there. I'm going to utilize my... Okay, question. If yep. I utilize the first strike on one weapon and then utilize a different strike on a second weapon, is that second weapon the second strike parameter yes, for it? That would, yes, Your, the strikes you take per round don't, don't care what weapon you're using, just that you use an attack action. Okay. Then I'm going to fucking try to bite his fucking head. Wait, is it targeted still Ooh. the right one? I don't know if it is. Um, Dude next to me. You do not get your precision edge because you are still hunt prey on the Gorlunk. I mean, the, okay. the, the archer. Yeah. Oh, wait, and, no, uh, no, you didn't. The mage is dead. You were on the mage. Yeah. And, but also, Hunter's aim doesn't work for melee. Or it has yeah, it no does. real benefit in this context. Yeah, it does. According to what I was reading earlier, focus on aiming attack becomes accurate. Make a no, no, ranged no. weapon strike. No, 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 no. Not hunt. Your your hunt prey works on melee strikes. You would be get your extra d8 of damage. 
Oh, that's right. Okay. First attack. Is that's probably a crit. Challenge of the yes, ranger. That, doesn't even that, matter the system. Okay. Remember you to move to your... <laughs> Yep, but uh, that does crit. Uh, you can go ahead and roll your critical damage. All right. We're biting this fucking head off. Are you literally? Nice. Yeah, I'm leaning down, yeah, and I'm so. just biting his head. Um, using... This one's head right, evaporates so into mist. Yeah. The head kind of evaporates into mist under the strength of your jaw. Yeah, I have a bite attack, and it's so. It cannot possibly taste good. <laughs> I don't think oh, it tastes. Bad. It tastes fucking wonderful. It tastes like victory. <laughs> so that All was right. one action. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna move over to. Hang on. Five, ten, fifteen. But we don't have to get close. Oh, that's right. We don't have to get close. Yeah, you can hunt okay. prey hunted. You can still hunted shot. It's just that the shots would be at minus five and minus ten. All right. So I'm going to transition smoothly from turning a goblin head to mist with my mouth to shooting. Okay. Honestly, you might want to shoot the guy in front of me. He has not been touched at all. The guy in front of you? Yeah. Okay, so then I have to utilize Hunter's aim, so click that check mark, right? Well, well no, 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 no. Utilize you... the second one. So, Hunter's aim and then um, Hunted Shot are two different actions you cannot do at the same time. Right, but it's not going to be the first attack on this round, so Hunted Prey doesn't matter. Well, so it's, it's Hunted Shot, right? So yeah, you would you would do hunted shot that allows you to attack twice. But if you hunt prey, mm -hmm. you haven't. Uh, hold on. An edge. What is precision? I need to check the verbiage on precision edge. Uh, yeah, it's the first time... attack. No, no, it's the first time you hit your hunted prey in a round. Okay. So you can hunt prey someone else and then hunted shot, trying to get that extra d8. That D8 shouldn't have applied on that one, but that guy still missed anyway. Okay, cool. Because that guy so wasn't your hunted prey. Target. And I'm... you think I should attack dude next to you, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine, because we can probably handle the uh, uh, other what's-his-nuts. So yeah, I, can, I have an idea for the other guy. So hunted prey, and then hunters... So hunted shot isn't a specific thing though. So do I just click it? Yeah, no, no. So your hunted shot is just the activity. Um, okay. You can so you can still you can still just attack twice. Um, okay. That's the best way to do it. But so like it would gonna, be your. It would yep. be the plus ten striking short bow, not plus fifteen, because I already bit. Yes, because you already okay. attacked this turn. All right. Next combat, I'll have this down pat. All right. Cool. So I'm gonna smoothly transition from goblin gibbets in my teeth to shooting the one in front of Scoville. Yeah. That was the plus tip. That does crit. Go ahead and roll your critical damage. I think I took all Noah's good rolls for myself. Never mind. There we go. Nice. Pinning this one to the wall. Sweet. I think we kind of put it to the in the head. It's a great turn. <laughs> yeah. All right, That's Common Rider Serrano. All right. First two actions, I'm going to do a new move that I have. Is it lightning I'm rod? To... I hope it's lightning rod. I'm doing lightning dash. I don't Ooh, think I more lightning. lightning rod yet. Oh, wait, no, lightning rod's metal. Your lightning rod's metal. Like This is lightning dash, where I turn into lightning and teleport. Oh, that's dope. And a 30 foot line. So I'm good. Where can I? I want to be able to get this guy in the in the line. Just go I mean, 25. If a, yeah. If it's right. a teleport, does the pillar matter? Well, you're you're fl you're flying through that line. It's not really a uh, teleport. Yeah, it's a straight line. Okay. It's, Fair. It's more just. I do lose my kinetic aura because this is overflow. So, but it is going to take needs to make a DC. This guy needs to make a DC twenty one basic reflex save. <laughs> Failure. Failure. Nice. So roll the damage. Fuck good luck. 
Oh, 22 damage. Oh, shit. Nice. Damage. Yeah. And for my final action, so that's Sue's action, I'm going to activate my kinetic orc again, but instead of activating my armor, I'm going to use that to make a one action melee elemental strike, elemental blast against this guy. And because Lightning Dash doesn't have the attack trait, this is a, I, this is a, this is not at any map. Nice. Right, it's basically, it's like a spell. Yeah. Doing this, but. What are you doing, Cat? That's really Weapon cool. Infusion is... so Weapon Infusion is by far the most powerful kineticist feat, period. It just, it's a lot of versatility for you your basic attacks. Baked into your spell, and then you can melee because you're right next to him. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to reactivate your kinetic orb, but. The action. I love the fact that when you can, when you don't just have to waste an action just on just to reactivate the thing, it also counts as hey. Yeah, that's amazing. So, yep. Go ahead and roll your attack roll. I didn't realize I had a fucking way to improve everyone's initiative. Hit. Sweet. Roll your damage. Coming out with the big old wooden hammer. Let's go. What? Uh, almost. Why are you yelling at the corner? Turn. My cat now was just standing one, in the corner right yelling at the closet. Me. Sorry. I would yell at the closet too. Yeah, teleport or crumbles off of me. What? And I just as I reactivate the aura and just smack yeah. him in the face with a wooden hammer. And now it's his turn. Let's go. Gerlunk. Alright. It's Gerlunk's turn. That fucking name. Gerlunk. Alright. Gerlunk. The sound he makes when he and he does a cannonball into a punch. Gerlunk sausage. Goblin names are amazing. I know. Yeah, and they have good shoes. They have quality footwear. Oh, Tunch did. Yeah, I can't yeah, speak really? for the rest of them. Tunch had badass yeah. foot had shoes. They were like boots with like fur around the top and then like bones sewn to like the tops and little heels. They were amazing. I want those shoes. Alright. What? So what they're going to do. Ah! Uh -oh. I need yeah. to go get Rip Nugget. Don't get Rip They're going to attempt to? running away from them. Oh, or you, you know what that's good. You know. <laughs> Damn it! Why didn't they run away from strike? me? Fucking because kill. they're all about to fucking die. <laughs> that's why I pulled them next to me. My m entire fucking character build is based on you can't fucking run away from me. And I have a hero point, so he's pretty much screwed no matter what I roll. Yeah, it's getting hero pointed. <laughs> My char entire character is basically Jason. There we go. go. Go ahead and roll your damage. Another crappy roll, but hopefully it's not. That kills no. them. Oh. This oh, kills yeah. the girl. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, wait. Two hit points. Ah. Oh, <laughs> bastard. Oh. So and I don't have a reaction. They're going to finish their first move to the first door. Uh -oh. And then for their third action, they're going to continue running. Well, shit. Oops. My dad. Yeah, that's rolls. their turn. Billy. All right. Billy. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man. I don't think I have the the actions to go after that guy. Um. So. I go before them. I can, yeah. Me and Dagger can go before them. So, I can definitely just if I can definitely just walk. Okay. Well, the issue is the pillar. If I can get around that pillar, I can shoot down that tunnel and just destroy the cave them. I'm gonna five ten. So, can you like give one of us better movement speed? Come to here. He's <laughs> okay. he's out of my range. Probably. Yeah, I don't feel like using an illusory creature on him. So on this guy that Grauka has been messing with, I'm gonna I'm gonna grim tendrils. Which is a bit overkill, but you know, it's fortitude save. 
recorded to you. Sean, can you give me a fortitude save for the goblin? Oh, yeah. Uh, fortitude. Please no, you fail. don't like the way my nails smell? Uh, failure. Let's go. It, they drop. Oh, wait. Is that... Oh, wrong one. Oh, I would have loved to kill, but I couldn't actually get in range to do this. Alright, you're actually at two. Alright. He also takes one persistent bleed. Yeah, that's that's still a failure. Uh, this yeah. one drops to the floor and says, Mercy! <laughs> They, they, they drop their weapons and, like, drop prone. Grelka. Hmm, well, I don't think I can get to those... Well, hang on. Well, I wasn't going at them, so I don't have... No escape on them, unfortunately. If only this guy could have gone to fight. Unfortunately, he did not. So, I'm just gonna fucking kill him. He just he, One, he dropped his weapons and said mercy. No. Oh. <laughs> Critical hit. Please don't kill him. He's, he's, uh, that, In my yeah. defense, Grelka is currently raged. That's true. That's true. And this is the one time I've rolled over ten entire session. Please let me have this. Thank you. To be fair, you're attacking. You rolled overkill to kill something lying prone on the ground. Unarmed. Let me oh, have wait, this. Wait, I, you wait. Hang, hang, you should roll the crit damage. In, the oh, crit my bad. Damage in the oh, yeah, because this because this is where yeah because this adds the deadly d12. Oh my god! So I splat him. All right. They had two hit points for combat. Explain how you kill this helpless goblin. <laughs> he just fucking splats. Like, I know it's not a bludgeoning damage weapon, but I like the idea that he just fucking splats. This helpless goblin that surrendered that you murdered. Devor. Oh, I also want to mention that the, the goblin splatting on the ground is off guard from Chris Ventilation. I already criticaled him! I, I'm kidding. Okay, so, um... Scoville, yeah. I know if this fails, you're going to back me up, okay? So this, yeah. this is what Dabor does. Runs up here, 20 movement, okay? One action. The next action, draws the bottled sunlight given to him by Malabar. Oh, shit. Holds it up in the air, chucks it at the guy and screams, Eat it, uh, shop at Malabar's, bitch. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> so it's thrown 10 for bombs, I think. Thrown 20? So Ray Jerker made 20 feet. So it's one, one out. So one ranging. <laughs> You're taking minus two penalty. Go ahead and roll an attack I'm roll against I'm praying them. this hits because it would be so funny. I know. I really want to. I have to figure out how to do it first. Oh, bounce on. There we go. Okay. Oof. I do not have the best uh, roll of this. At least I have the courageous answer. Come on. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's <laughs> so a regular close. miss, which means you still do splash damage. Go ahead and roll splash. Okay, let me Where see what the splash the damage is. is. Where does it say what the splash? Oh, I just clicked damage? Yeah. Just click damage. Uh, uh, I'm just going to roll the damage and see if it tells okay, what the splash I is. Yep. It illuminated the area. Um. It's oh, the splash is positive damage. Uh, he doesn't take any because he's actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really perfect for Malabar because he doesn't actually know what the gun, the bomb did. All right, that's my turn. The, that's the reason they gave you the bottle of sunlight because you're fighting undead at that present <laughs> moment. Okay. Good question. Yep. If you move. Since you have three turns, can two of them be movement or no? Yes, you yeah, can move. You can, you can, your three action can be spent however you want. Okay, cool. That's the beauty of this system. No more. There's a reason I keep bitching about the turn economy in Baldur's Gate. Oh wow, you actually like Pathfinder Second Edition movement and rules? 
Uh, I don't like the limitations on movement. Why am I seven feet tall and have 20 feet of movement? That's bullshit, but... Because you're in full plate. Fuck you. Yeah, th this is that's the limitation behind the incredible defense of uh, of heavy armor. Yeah, that you, you, you literally are... have the best AC in the game. Yeah, you have ex massive defense, but you are slightly slower. It's funny because if you actually hit them, they would have taken fire damage and then burnt. Okay, yeah, wait, it's my turn though, right? Sad. Yeah, it's, yep, it's your turn. Would have been so okay, epic. I'm trying to verify that without looking stupid raspy. Okay, cool. So we're gonna move our person. We can do this. I have faith in you. You still have that shit selected, token controls. Okay. Whenever I feel like doing select tokens, there we go. Idiot. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. 30. That's going to be. Well, you can move diagonal, but. You can still move diagonally, but every other diagonal is going to be 10 feet of movement. So if I move to here. That's five can feet. Can I still shoot? Or no? Yeah. Okay. Dope. So that's yeah, two moves. You can attack twice. It's hunted shot. Really? Okay. Dope. All right. My yeah, Hunted Shot's whole thing is two attacks for one action. Fancy. Multi-attack, 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 multi-attack. And then we're going to do Striking Short Bro. Roll. And then we're going to do... That's disgusting. Did that hit? Shot. Nope. It says right there, Mitz. I, I wasn't reading it. How did I do? You have a hero point. I have one. Yeah, because I didn't use it on my enfeeblement. So roll again. At the end of the session, so there's literally no cost yeah. to doing it. Yes. Right click, re-roll with a hero point. Can I re-roll the first one and not the second one? Or no? By the oh, time... All right. No. All right, where do I right click? Right click, re-roll with hero point. Okay, I see what I'm doing. Reroll using hero point. Boo! Uh, Healing roll damage. saves you. 22 so, uh, damage. Oh, Come on. Oh, I'm being dumb. As so, long as he gets the Roll two, your damage. Yeah, so. Yeah. So literally, so, was, you, you literally could not not kill him. Give me yeah. one moment. I need to roll perception checks. Oh, geez. Oh, also, I get a plus. I get a, a fucking. I read this earlier. It's fucking. Where is it? Scout's warning. That's when, when you roll initiative. In case. Alright. Initiative's already been rolled since the start of combat. Give me one second. I'm tracking. Perception. I'm going to self roll. Across the room and nail that into a wall. <laughs> He's giggling. Why is he giggling? He just does that sometimes. Oh no. Always concerning. It, it should be. I do want to point out that when he does this to check and see if anyone else has does, I have been playing the guitar loudly. So, your arrow... Oh, uh, what did I do? <laughs> you, you impaled him on the doorway. Nice. Knock, knock. Ooh, are we going to meet Crunch next time? Possibly. We're going to meet Rip Nugget. And that's a good point to end the session on. Uh, All right. Are we that doing was great. Next week or no? Thanks, Sean. So we're not going to be playing next week on account of me going uh, canoeing. Oh, yeah. No. Are you canoeing or kayaking? You have to let us know. 
I am actually yeah, I, going to be canoeing with my little brother. I see no reason nice. why you can't nice. DM from the from the fucking from the boat. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. pull up <laughs> I'm gonna pull up on an island in between like stops and bring no. me to DM for 20 minutes while eating. Mm-hmm. No, what you do is you just have a laptop in your lap and you like just put like a Ziploc bag over it so it's good. <laughs> this and this then is you a just great put idea. It in your lap. Yeah, I There's think nothing that, that can go wrong. Time beat tonight. No, not at all. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Later. Yeah, I'm gonna head but out. But I to think I end. think uh, I think the I think uh, that's a good point to end the session on yeah, after totally. you know knocking on the door with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I'm so Thanks, glad Sean. I got to do teleport behind you. Nothing personnel can. Uh, I hope mm. I hope you guys are ready for this because uh, I'm excited. We have I'm the excited. beef, do we not? We do have the meats. We're like we do have the right? meats. We've got our. You're doing approaching Arby's mode. I still feel like we can talk fucking Rip Nugget into believing that we are just here to deliver him some fucking Arby's. I feel like it's I mean, possible. We did kill all his like. Just, <laughs> just open, just open the I own pizza here. No, yeah, that's my plan. Not, that is my. We're plan. not. But yeah, we're not playing next week. Um, it'll be the week mm-hmm. after that. Sounds so great. Twenty third. Yep, twenty third. Yeah. Hey All Josh. Right. Yeah. When do you think we might be able to start alternating? Um, let me think. I have totally been slacking. Also, off. speaking of that, Helix, would you be interested in jo- would Josh if you're okay, would yes, would Helix okay be interested in joining the other campaign? I've no I have no issues with joining another campaign personally. Well, because um, that is it, though. You wish you for August. Well, it's it, so ideally we would be like alternating between me and Josh GMing to kind of lighten yeah. the load on both of us. Okay. Even sure though he's Josh. he's doing a lot more work than I am because I'm re- I'm running a module that already got printed. Yeah. 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 And Josh, Josh is just Josh having Josh a t- is doing. Josh is trying to make an entire custom campaign in the Galarian setting. It's his first time uh, DMing. Well, Pathfinder, <laughs> not my first time DMing. Either. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So it hasn't started yet, though. It oh has no. no, we're no, two it, arcs it's, in. It's on arc three now. Oh, okay. You guys are what level? Don't are you? worry. We're I believe eleven. Can... Uh, this is the campaign yeah. where my character licks everything. This is the campaign we're referencing because it's taking the same place. Also, in the... I don't. Why? What did you? When did you pick? Decide that Isco would have a very thick Russian accent. It was an early on session. Well, well, around the time when I realized that nobody could see my face, and I needed to distinguish between, because normally I distinguish Uh, between acting in character and acting out of character using body language. Um, And I realized that nobody on the stream could see my face, so I needed to figure out another way. And I have one accent, and it's bad Russian accent. And luckily for me, Isco was already from Mendev. So. Yeah. So if you're okay with it, Josh, I'd be interested, though. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, All right. I think I, I'll try to get because I have done like nothing, and I, I need to play it out this whole. It's week a part. very our party and the other group is a very different oh, vibe. Speaking of, since we're it going is. to the Gravelands book, I can get you the um, Knights of Last Wall book that actually details what it's like over there. Oh, okay, that would be cool. helpful. Cool. Yeah, I, I need to read some. I, I need to get ready for it. But well, so well like, the I vibe is different, like... except for except for Jennifer, who is still gas like gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> um, She's a different accent though. She has a with accent. the British also, accent this time. I'm also playing a trauma, slightly traumatized Boy Scout. He lost his arm. I'm playing an extremely traumatized Luchador. He has wings. I'm playing God in that game. <laughs> I'm playing, playing a, a, in, in, mildly a amnesiac, and... mildly amnesiac, insane war vet, ex war vet, no. Survivor of Last Wall. Okay. The last I big. I wasn't. I'm a sorcerer. I'm yeah. playing a human fighter that's totally different than the fighter here. Okay. Like yeah. I play totally differently than Josh's fighter. Here. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. Josh is Josh is doing like pole arm fighter. Sean's doing sword and board fighter. Sword and uh, board yeah, and slash sword. Yeah. Also, you can be a barbarian. Yeah. We don't have a barbarian yet. We can always use more heavy hitters, especially heavy hitters that can actually take damage. Okay. 
cool because those are yeah, because our party. Yes, Tex, right I am is... looking at you. Yes, I know oh, it is. Tur so it is despite monk. Tur takes a lot of damage. So I'm it a, takes not a lot. I'm a full plate fighter with a shield half the time. But I, I can soak a lot of damage, but sometimes just having someone else on the front line is good. Yeah. Especially since we I'm... lost our primary healer, and it's mostly me and uh, Jennifer acting as tertiary healers, because hey, neither I... of us are primary healer builds. And also well, me mean, healing I myself. Heal yeah. I yeah. can heal, but I can heal, but only myself. Well, you don't use it enough! I do use it enough. I just didn't get crit a lot. The dice don't like Turek. Well, you know what I don't like? Not being able to just cast, shake them out of their bones because Turek's on the floor again. That's not I want to rattle but... the fucking bones, Tex. And I you're not letting you want... me. I know you want to make them bones shaky shake. But I want Turk... to shook them from their meat suit like a right, husk of so corn. Guys, I have to head out, but I think August, I'll try to shoot for... Um, yeah. Picking All right. And yeah. yeah, I'll, I'll send you the night's last the wall book. Awesome. All right, good night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know that I probably should have put more. Yeah, because here's the problem. Maybe I don't put, dump stat constitution. I did. I it's my tertiary. Pretty much at all you. That's may as well be dump stat for a frontline fighter. What are you also, doing? I need to. I, oh, I have. I, I need to have wisdom detailed. decks. Good night. Deck because my my stats are strength primary. Obviously, I'm a strength monk. Dex and Wisdom secondary, Dex for AC and Acrobatics, Wisdom for using my spells. That's a scatter. That's... Actually... Well, you well, keep actually, dying. That's actually not that much scatter, given how the way these systems work. Okay. Generally, like, the spread of stats, had, like, an, an average stat spread is going to be four in the primary stat and then two twos and a one. Okay. That's generally how it works. That pan the math pans out. I I'm bad at math. I won't be able to play anything at all in September. No worries. We'll be, I'll be in the field for a month. And that's yeah. Bad. Don't worry. So, okay. I will yeah. say a lot of October is going to be high holiday season. I don't know what day of the week they are yet. Um. Because I haven't looked. I can send you. I have, I have the dates. Out. I put them in for my requests off, and my boss is still pissed about it because October is the start of our blackout period because it's the sweetest day. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be here. I did not mention that I'm also going out of town for a week to visit my dad during Sukkot. But, like, but fuck you anyways. Yeah. yeah, also, I'm not going to be here for half the week because Sukkot's two days uh, at the start, two days at the end. It's an eight-day holiday. All right. No, but, like, uh, the Army has, like, a calendar that's, like, for... Specifically, army leadership, but it has the breakdown of this is what the holiday is. This is why it exists. These are the actual days that matter out of the holiday. That's and helpful. I, can send you that. I appreciate that. Okay. All right, okay. I'm gonna go. See y'all in. Bye. See all right. See y'all in two weeks then. See ya. Alrighty. There we go. Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you again to Lord Terraclips, even though I know you've left, for subscribing. And Isariad for following. And Johan for showing up again. I may be live streaming some Crusader Kings 3 with my friend Griffin. On Tuesday afternoon, uh, around three ish, should probably take us at least an hour to get it to work because I haven't downloaded any of the new stuff. And there's probably going to be mods involved. We might do try to do after the end again. Who knows? I'll see ya.